Welcome back, and, um... Ah! Do not invoke that accursed name. I didn't say Morbius. Yeah, you did. You just did, right there. I literally- I have video proof, Tyler. Oh man. Here, let me turn you guys up a little bit. Oh boy. All you're gonna do is just change where the circle lights up. You're not actually gonna change yeah. the voice at all. <laughs> uh, dumbass. You're, you're the one who gave me the idea, not me. Unfortunately. But yeah, welcome back, and we're not sorry. Um, Silver's gonna be late today, because he's always late, but, like, he actually told us that we're, he's gonna be late today. Um, so we're expecting him in about an hour from now. He had some kind of unspecified emergency. Whew, but that's fine. Emergencies are fine. They happen every day. So, without any further ado, um, let's see here. Jordan, since you just got back from vacation, do you want to do the recap? No, don't do this to me. <laughs> Let me, me do the recap, Alan. You're not no. allowed to do this to me. Alex, you want to do the recap? Uh, Silver turned in a whale, that's all I remember. Was it a whale? I thought it was an elephant. Or a mongoose. That also no. wasn't the last, oh, the last thing. Yeah, that wasn't the last session. He did turn, Silver did turn into a whale. Actually, Silver didn't. Shalex turned into a whale. But that was not the most recent session. Oh. Shalex did, never turned into a whale. No, it's just fucking, yeah. He became friends yeah, with a whale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shalex became friends with a whale. That's the words. Uh. Well, I, I... Eterna is, hates all of you. That That is the sum of last session. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Ruben was just sitting in a tavern by himself. Um, honestly, I feel like Ruben would have been with us and just watched what was happening. Like, I hate you. Maybe. That was fair. That was completely valid. No, mate, I'm just completely, like... Saying, what um, the fuck, Charlotte? Oh, yeah, what the fuck? Uh, can I do recap then? Sure. I I literally don't care. I just would rather me not do it this time. Okay. So, uh, we're in Yangnim, or Yangnim, whatever the fuck, place. And we were looking for a magic school to find What's Her Face Fairfoot. And they. Uh, we're like, oh man. Like, yeah, this is the magic school. We're like, neat. And then we said that we were looking for someone. And then uh, there was this big 25 foot fucking bridge because it had to go over the toxic water. And Shalex was like, I'm gonna turn into a goose. So then Shalex is a goose. And this couple sees the goose that looks infected because poison mushrooms. Uh, they pick it up and poison Eterna's mold. like, give me the goose. And they're like, um, so then, uh, Eterna picks up the goose. And right whenever the boyfriend of the couple is trying to be like, hey, what are you doing to that goose? Why are you holding it by the neck like a chicken? Um, Pelio, piece of shit, uh, turns the goose the, the, the very, the very into an elephant. Man. So, while the goose is slowly turning into an elephant, I yeet it off the bridge, um, mostly. And then people start running because there's a fucking elephant on this bridge that's gonna collapse into toxic water. Uh, and then. 
Uh, shenanigans happen. Uh, Poyo and Shalix get, like, chased by the cops, question mark. And then somehow we end up in the office of Varkin. Who was because... the guy that you had asked about at the college. Oh, that's who we asked about? That is who you asked about at the college. That's who Jen asked about at the college. Okay. Uh, and then Jen um, impersonated an officer, uh, threatened to arrest the couple, uh, went to Varkin, who runs the water purification, who then lore-dropped a ton of shit. Um, like, shadow walkers and shit. Like, the order... And Eterna is like, this piece of shit's working for Draymond. Or adjacent. Um, and we made a deal that we would... That he would give us, like, 300 gold if we gave him two Withstein ingots. Withstein, yeah. And... Uh... That he definitely knows Theodora... Uh, Theodrada. Theodrada. Shut up. <laughs> I'm um, just trying to be helpful. That he does Why? her... Oh, I'm gonna do this for nefarious purposes. Ooh. And, yeah. As I flip through my sticky notes. <laughs> I, I take good notes whenever I'm interested. So... As we step back into the world of Lavedia, in the country of Yanyan, in the river port city of Yangnam, the Tidebringers have just now exited Varkin's office with directions to, supposedly, where Theodrada makes her residence. The world is yours. Do as you wish. Somewhere in a distant past, a half orc eats a button. What? Oh, you said in the My distant God. past, a half orc. Yeah, My you're talking about God. Bob. <laughs> I, I get you. All right, guys. Here's the plan. I want to know if y'all like this plan, okay? okay so we're gonna get the Wistine from the Theo person, okay? And then we're gonna ditch this Varkin person and never talk to him again and just run away. Jin said, no, standing right him. outside his office. I, <laughs> I, kn I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Jin, I like that plan. Because that plan, I think we might have to, we might have to kill. I, I don't, I don't condone the killing. But... Hey, uh, we should go find uh, Ruben. I think he's back, like, at the boat, or... Yeah, yeah Ruben, yeah, Ruben just... needs some yeah. updating. Yeah, right. Ruben is right. trying to out drink people right now. I, I Mood. Uh, Ruben, roll a constitution uh, check. Uh oh. Uh, a what check? Constitution check. Keep so it, just keep it, keep it, keep it. yeah. Give me one second because I need to actually switch to Ruben. Constitution, 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 constitution. <laughs> Not that. Constitution. Even better without advantage. On a dirty 20. Yeah, no, you're definitely out drinking some people. You're not even drunk and you've got like a dwarf, a halfling, and a human under the bar. Another round! Come on, let's go, let's go! The bartender, uh, who you see is a green dragonborn, just starts pouring out seven more shots lined up with you and like six other people there's four dwarves there's a there's a second dragonborn a silver one um and there is a uh a sort of like pale green tiefling that's missing a horn all lined up next to you and all just in this drinking competition 
I, I want to try and like smirk at all of them as I'm like just <laughs> chugging down the, the fucking shots. It burns as it goes down. And of course, you knew this already. You've been doing this, this same whiskey. Um, but you can definitely tell that there's a magical element. Um, and knowing that the brewer here is a, um, I said green dragonborn. Yeah. You get the sense that maybe he uses some of his own, like, magical breath weapon as a part of this brew. It definitely has, like, a, uh, air of toxicity that isn't just alcohol. Mm. But as you down it, um... The first of the dwarves in the line, kind of like a scraggly beard, hasn't really grown in fully. Definitely a younger dwarf, just like goo, 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 just collapse backwards off the bar stool, cracks his head on the floor. Doing a little too much there, buddy. <laughs> it just gives you like a little bit of a thumbs up before just laying back immediately asleep. I, I just slowly take a napkin off the counter and place it on his face for a little like <laughs> blinders. <laughs> I just look at the bartender and give him a smile then. So that is the scene that you walk in uh, that you walk into uh, Tidebringers as you kind of step back into finding Reuben. You, wa you all kind of step into this bar just as this dwarf has collapsed backwards. I chug my last shot and I turn to them. Hey, hi guys. How you uh, doing? Hi. Uh, are you good to make decisions? Ah. Uh... You missed a bit, by the way. You know, uh, I think I'm good. And I stand up and just kind of waddle over to them. I roll insight to see if he is good. Yeah, sure. Roll insight. Uh, let me open up my dice. Insight is just... Uh, 19. Yeah, uh, Ruben has been mostly unaffected. Um, this is only, like, the third or fourth round of shots, and Ruben's definitely, like, a little tipsy, but he's not- Okay, so Ruben has my tolerance. Yeah, Re Ruben is not, like, affected to the point where he's thinking stupid yet. He's not slurring his words, he's not stumbling around. He seems fine. If you she stopped him on the side of the road, you wouldn't be able to tell that he was drinking, except for the rancid smell coming out of his mouth. So, first off, wash out your mouth. Secondly, probably not with water. Um. Not with water? It's all contaminated, yo. We're just putting shit in our. Not water. Yeah. Uh, have you, have you had any water to drink? Have uh... you, uh. Have you gotten any homosexual uh, tendencies from the water? Uh... Wait, did Dravok make the frogs wait, gay? Homo, wait, ho hold wait, hold on. You're you're asking me if I drank some water and now if I like men, right? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> That's Dravok's like, plan all along. Because like I'm not listen, it out. listen to Turna, Eterna. I look, I. We don't know each other that well, so I think I'd like to keep that part of me a little private. If I if I if I do say so myself, but uh, but you tell us if that happened, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, okay. I I've just been drinking these shots. I haven't done much else. So you didn't um... hear about the elephant incident, then, right? I glare at Poe. Yeah. <laughs> I was a goose. <laughs> you know, I'm not... You know, how about this? We we both got our secrets. I keep my secrets, you keep your secrets. We got All this. Alright, I like, I like sure, that plan. Sure. Uh, You're bad at keeping secrets. Ruben, <laughs> we got a job. Are you ready to do a job? Uh, tell me about it. 
all right we're gonna go to this person and they're gonna give us this shit or they're gonna be there's gonna be problems so you're saying i get to beat up people I, I, if they I don't give us what they want yes then i think i'm in all right let's go wait do you need more information than that uh no ruben's pretty stupid and he's good <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to get the thing that we're not supposed to talk about because this is open area and public. Let's go! People don't listen to us, right guys? Well, wait, no, so I, I guess as we're walking, he'll start like asking more questions, but. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what exactly is this thing we're getting? We're getting the whist time for my thing, my bobber. Remember when I talked about all the putting all the pieces together and becoming the avatar? Mm -hmm. what, what the hell are you talking about this avatar? You never, you never specified about an avatar. I thought I did. But now I have. I still don't know what that means. Yeah. Use your imagination. Roll a history check, Toyo. Is there an actually an avatar? Oh wait, there is. There is like a re... Sorry. Well, not... It wasn't called an avatar, though. I got a six. Cool. Um. Yeah. <laughs> on on a on a six, I will say, um, you know, avatar is typically used to refer to, um, a like a wizardly familiar of an elemental nature. Uh, you know this because one of your sisters. Uh, Helen actually has one. Um, yes. Uh, and so she has told you many times about what her avatar can do. Um, and so the idea of becoming an avatar kind of reminds you of some of the stories that you've heard about Janazi, but you don't really know anything specific. It's all, like stuff that you kind of pretended to pay attention to just enough to get people to leave you alone. That sounds about right. But yeah, this person hopefully knows where uh, the Wistine is. And then we can be all happy-dory, hunky-dory. Worst case scenario, don't ask why, we might get arrested. That could be a possibility. Yeah. Ah, uh, all right. So we might have to come in for jail breakout later down the line. Shalex at this point, I think, is going to take pity on Ruben. Uh, and is going to go through the full explanation of so Theodrada uh Fleetfoot or Fairfoot. Was it Fairfoot? Damn yeah, it, let me look. I'm pretty sure we need to know this information. No, we don't. We're, Fairfoot. We're it's Fairfoot. Fairdrada Fairfoot. Um, a substitute teacher at the local wizarding college. Um, works with air elemental something or other. Or so we were told. Uh, back in... Uh, back in Lithostine Harbor. And so we're here to see if we can get our hands on some whist time for Jin's weapon. Uh, supposedly she knows, she either has some or knows where to get some. Um, Varken is kind of in charge of the water purification plant here. Um, and he has also been trying to get some, get his hands on some whist time for some time. Uh, and Theodrada has not allowed him to do so, has not given him any or given him any information on it or anything, um, because he's a really bad guy. He seems like a bad guy. But we're um, better than bad guys. We're the good guys, right, guys? I'm not sure why I'd say we're the good guys. We did just <laughs> almost destroy a bridge. No, I had no part in that. I fixed the bridge with all of you. We did just almost destroy a bridge. Listen, it was it probably needed some renovation anyway. It's all about the destination, not the journey. So anyways, 
hopefully we can get some Westine, and then Barkin wants us to give it to him, but uh, we are not going to do that. Probably. I hope not. Maybe. Depends on how much we him. get. But that's what's going on. Just so There's... you know. I have an idea of how we should trick him. There's a blacksmith around here, right? You haven't seen necessarily any that have caught your eye. Um, we can probably find a smithy around here somewhere. Or maybe Theodrata has one. But we can just gild an ingot so it looks like it's done on the outside, but not on the inside. So if he tries to make anything with it, it won't work. Doesn't this shit like glow or something? Also, doesn't he have a way? Isn't there like literally a way to uh, identify the materials and objects and shit? Yeah, he's the headmaster of like the wizard cult. Like, yeah. I don't think we're gonna get past him. I think he would have a spell to check if it's actually, you know. I mean, the outside will certainly look like it. That's not what I'm saying. I don't think the spell gives you the composition of it. I feel like it does. I feel like it does too. <laughs> I don't think it works full metal alchemist style where it tells you Look, everything I, that's I, in it. You know what? There's a possibility it might work like that. I to be fair, I don't use magic so I don't know. I I, I don't I don't know I don't know to identify. I can't tell you. Just as an out of play question, Alan, would that work? Uh, casting identify. Yeah, would it break it up full metal alchemist style or be like, yep, that is a ingot? Um, so identify as a spell doesn't necessarily work on non magical objects. Identify will help you understand any enchantment that's placed on an object, and it'll help you understand any enchantments that are placed on a person as well. Um,. But identify is specifically for discerning magic things of a magical or arcane nature. Um, well, isn't that what Westine is? Like, go it's ahead, magical? Go ahead, I'll say, Jin and Eterna, you guys can uh, go ahead and roll. If you're proficient with blacksmith's tools, you can roll that with intelligence. Or just roll an arcana check. I'm great at those. Um, so, Tinker's Tools, Smith's Supplies... Smith's Tools, yeah. You can roll that if you'd like. Uh, playing card set would help, right? Playing card would not, no. Damn it. Uh, one of these days. 13. And Eterna, if you're rolling Smith's Supplies, uh, you can go ahead and roll with advantage. Oh, okay. So just throw that down one more time. A two. Damn. Well, All uh, right. That what is that? A nat nineteen? God damn. That's uh, sexy. Um. So yeah. Uh. We'll start with the thirteen. Jin. Uh. You're not too familiar with uh magic, but you know some. Um. You've had to work around a number of enchantments. You know um some of the people that you worked with back in the good old days. Uh, had certain spells that you know, they would use to uh, kind of ascertain knowledge about things of a magical or non-magical nature. Um, there was uh, spells like detect traps. Um, there was also like detect magic, detect poison and disease, uh, stuff like that. You you would assume necessarily that there's probably no matter what you're trying to do there's probably a spell that's capable of doing it and the real question is are you strong enough to cast that spell and do you know the spell um no we're fucked yeah eterna kind of coming at it with your uh knowledge of smith supplies and your knowledge of kind of crafting and working with stuff you remember 
um, one of the airborne devices that you helped design um, back where you grew up in your homeland um, used a metal uh, it was referred to as Cloudskate um, in your community um, but kind of you're starting to put together now and thinking about it and what it could be used for uh, you're realizing kind of gilding another metal with this really wouldn't work because Cloudskate or Wistine as it's called here um, is a translucent metal it's almost like like a very thick cloud or like a piece of fog that is solid and cold to the touch Ooh. okay but 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 instead of gilding a metal what if you pour the mold over a chunk of glass i'm kind of thinking through it yeah that might work uh depending on what kind of tests um varken does uh, and how long those tests might take, that could definitely hold up to scrutiny at least for a little bit. Uh, if you can get it made properly without him knowing that you're getting it made. And so as you're just kind of remembering uh, your previous experience with this material, you're kind of putting together a better idea of ways that you could maybe necessarily... Uh, pull the wool over his eyes. And so as you're kind of having this conversation and coming up with this idea, you come to what is a sort of small, almost alpine in style uh, house. Very... Yangnam is a very flat town. It's in the plains. There's not a lot of trees around. There's not a lot of hills. Uh, the main geological feature is the river that runs through the town. Uh, and other than the towering cylinders of the water purification plant and the bridge and a couple of other buildings, none of the buildings here are really two-story. This is clearly like a one-and-a-half-story building. Uh, where most of the buildings here have flat or like gently sloped roofs this has a very steeply peaked uh, roof um, and a small spire in the back it's very out of place compared to all of the buildings around it uh, you can see uh, a sort of charming little sign hanging off of a box at the front um, that labels this as the Fairfoot Establishment. Alright, guys, we're here. Everyone know their lines? I turn, turn people into elephants, yeah. Uh, that's the last ditch resort. I turn into a goose, right? Uh, you can do that if you want. Shalak I swear to God, I will kill you. <laughs> Shalak turns into I pick him up by the neck. What, Shalak? And throw him like a chicken. At the door? Honk, honk. Honk, honk, indeed. <laughs> I want to pick up Shalak's the goose by the neck like a chicken and just throw him down a path we just walk back up. Perfect. A couple seconds later, you see a completely different looking goose fly up and just land next to you guys. I don't trust it. It morphs back into Shalex. Perfect. So we do know our lines. <laughs> Alright, uh, anyone got an actual plan or are we just going into their balls to you? Well, I have the plan, and the plan is whichever one of you fucks has the letter that was given to us by what's his face to give to Theodore, Theodore, Theo, whoever the fuck, Flatfoot, Theodrada. 
Theodrata. I keep wanting to call it Theodosia. <laughs> Theodrata. Fairfoot. One of y'all has a letter. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. yeah. That is me. You do like to carry a letter to on you, do you? So Jin, give them the letter. <laughs> I can- I can give letters. That's certainly a thing I can do. The letter that you were given you, you to give to the Adrata. You left it back at the ship, didn't you? I have it in my hands right here. No, you left it in your another pants, oh no! It's all coming together. It's all falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> it already has. So, you're standing... Um, just before the threshold of this establishment here. Alright, of... I'll, I'll knock on the door knocker. Summon doorman. After a couple of seconds, you hear, uh, a, the sounds of, like, a very, very loud dog just going off the hinges. Um, muffled by that and by the door, you hear a, um, youngish woman's voice calling out for the dog to be quiet. Um, after a moment, the dog just, like, slowly starts to settle down. And after a full minute, 60 seconds has passed. <laughs> Ah, hello there. What can I do for you today? Hi, uh, I assume I'm speaking to, uh, Theodrata? Theodrata Fairfoot here at your service. You got some mail? We, uh, first of all, a pleasure to meet you. Uh, we were hoping to talk to you. Ah. Uh, about something, uh, rather important to us. Uh, pre pretty dire, yeah. Alright, alright. Uh, are you new students over at the, uh, the college? Uh, no, we actually, we've come from a, uh, we've come from quite far off, to be honest. Oh, well, bacon and eggs, I don't get much visitors. Come on, come in. Need something to drink? Uh, uh apple cider. I've got plenty of that. Did, Ru did, did Ruben see the dog yet? The Ruben has not seen the dog yet, but as you are, like, I assume you step in as she's gesturing for you to come in. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as you are stepping in, there is a, like, massive, uh, for this particular breed, it's a very big, like, husky that has, like, one blue eye, one brown eye that is just, like, looking up eagerly, um, and you can see there's, like, just a slight, um, there's like a slight few sparkles around like behind the head a little bit um just kind of floating in the air but it's like looking up and just <laughs> Ruben drops to his knees immediately and just starts like loving on this dog <laughs> I just kind of stare at the husky because I feel like Eterna just looks like a very tall husky even though she's a fox just because she's monochrome <laughs> <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, that's there's Melissa. Or Melly. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? <laughs> and he... <laughs> he just literally is just petting his dog, not paying attention to anything else. <laughs> yeah. Um, the inside of the home here is just as out of place in this town. Um... As the outside is, uh, it looks for all the world like a mountain cabin. Um, it's very, very homey. It's got like the live edge uh, oak table um, that she kind of leads you to, uh, pours five mugs of apple cider, sets them out. Um, so, um, he had to talk to me from quite a ways away. Where did it to came from again? Well, we've come from all over, but we specifically came from uh, Philsaurus in the scattered, scattered, isles. The shattered, shattered isles. isles. 
Shattered Eye. Ah, yes. Got quite a few friends down there. Uh, I feel like we've met one of those friends, and that's why we're here, to be honest. Uh, does the name, uh, what is it? Uh, Dorvan ring a bell? Ah, uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> worked with that guy a while, don't you know? Uh, spent a good few years learning all sorts of metal craft. It's a really smart dwarf, that guy. Uh, I'll hand the letter then. This is from, uh, Dorvan then. She kind of takes a second, opens it up. Ah, oh, I see. And, um, well then, if y'all are coming from, uh, Vesaurus, am I to assume you're from the VAC? At least a little bit. We are, indeed. I yeah. believe all of us, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're the... What's y'all's name again? Tide? The Tidebringers. Ah, uh, new group, new group. Hmm. I did a little bit of venturing myself up there. One summer yesteryear. Yeah, for how long? Uh, not long. Just one or two short trips. Never really got into any of it. Uh, prefer my books and a little simpler life. You're an inside person, I bet, huh? Absolutely. No, I keep my home and I keep it nice. And you know, every once in a while the school needs me, I go up and I teach. But mostly I... Uh, Keep to here and to planes beyond. Material just isn't as much fun, though. Material's better than some of them. Oh, sure, they all have their difficulties. But, uh. There's Cops nothing. Some deep speech. <laughs> there's nothing quite like a sunset on the elemental plane of fire, don't you know? The whole world glows red for just a split second. Sure. So, you're here for, uh, Varkin, then? He's been pestering me about this for, uh, three, four months now. Um, we're actually here to, uh, we're not with him, uh, we want we're, to... We're on our own accord, to be honest. Yeah. Um, cause he is not good. In oh, case, well, I, I feel like you've caught on to that. Yeah, no. Guy's got this city in a vice grip. Doesn't seem well, like you know, you. that and working with the fearlings, but one thing at a time. Allegedly. I was about to say I hadn't heard anything about that one. Wouldn't be surprised, though, this close to the border. He works with people who he says looks like me, and that is bad news. Does that mean that you're bad news? No, because I escaped and they stay willingly. Supposedly. Hmm. Well, if one escapes, surely there's got to be more, don't you know? Mm. Oh, she's got you there. <laughs> Nothing ever happens just once. I mean... Have you ever heard of Shadow Walkers or the Order? Can't say that I have. I but don't if I was a Shadow I Walker, I know I'd be keeping to myself even more than I am now. Do you know what a Shadow Walker is? No. Then why would you keep to yourself? Well, it's just a scary sound of name. <laughs> Nothing good ever names itself a Shadow Walker. Well, it's not exactly a fun being cursed, but if so, you don't know what they are, but you know Varkin's bad, and that's good, cause he wants wits done, but we want it for fucking Jin's swords, daggers. We, our plan is to make a uh, planner weapons. Planner weapons. Yeah. Oh, that's what you're doing. That is what I'm doing. I thought I'd talk. Okay, never mind. What, what would you go into uh, combine the wist time with then? I'm curious. 
I have these uh, three other elements, and I'll pull them out. Three other elements? Huh. Such a thing has only been attempted once before. I guess I'll just make it a second then. Mm. Why not? After all, nothing ever happens just once. I don't have enough of the other elements for that, <laughs> Poyo. I mean, if you want to accompany me to the other fucking elements, the planar elements, then sure. That can be arranged later, I'm sure, I'm sure. But you're here for one thing and one thing only right now is the whist time. Yes, ma'am. The well, whist time is one of those difficult to get things. Uh, you have to get it out of land in the plane of air. It's not a lot of land in the plane of air. They'll fly in the ether, or maybe cloud. There will probably be some flying, yes. Um, right. I assume you know how to get to the uh, air oh, yeah. plane. Oh, yeah. Airplane. Yeah. Of course. I've got friends up there. A few enemies, too. Oh. Actually. Are, they light are your enemies lightheaded or something? That gives yeah, me an idea. You come into my house! Sorry, I'm a bit light. I'ma leave you little lightheaded in a minute if you don't hush! I mean, fuck you, I mean, I mean, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Roll the charisma saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see how smoothly you can yes, ma'am, that over. <laughs> Smooth as butter. <coughs> She kind of nods for a second and smiles at you. Oh, I'm just fooling with you. Get that a lot. <laughs> so, um, well, if you're adventurous, and you don't necessarily like bad people, and you're looking for whist time, well, I think I can put all those things together. Let's see here. And she heads off into another room. Just hold on one minute now. Yeah, by the way, Ruben, apparently there's uh, shadow walkers, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, we have no information on that whatsoever, but there are things. Yeah. There's shadows and they walk, apparently. He looks up Maybe that's just like a shadow. diversion. Do, do they, like... Have, have you seen one? Do they harm us? Apparently, they look like me. Yeah. So that means that they're bad. Ruben kind of inches away from Eterna, closer to the dog. Ruben, you know, if I wanted to kill you, I would have left you down there at that portal. Listen, there are a lot of things that have happened between you and me that we've shared that have thrown me off a little bit. I still like you, don't you worry, but, uh... <laughs> don't you worry. You want to know what makes you what I think they are calling a shadow walker? If I let you go through that portal, ah. you had to stay there. So what you're saying is Ruben could have been a shadow walker. Or, so you know, dead. It's, uh... Oh. oh. Oh, there's tons of monsters. I what, like that giant ass fucking what was it? I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. The the thingy that came after me. I don't think I feel safe anymore. Yeah, Similar I don't. I don't. Plug I'm gonna. Ruben and just goes with the dog. I, I pat Ruben. Just stay away from puddles. <laughs> just stay away from holes. Yeah. Try a phobia. Oh, by the way, Reuben, do you- are you able to, like, heal at all? Uh, good question. Well, uh, I did that funny dance thing with, uh, Poyo, uh, so- I, So- I, I think she, like, pinched- pinched Reuben on the neck. Ah, uh, I didn't really like that. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. You're fine, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> but, um... Uh, that... Maybe if I- focus a little more and think about healing maybe that will help um 
But you don't have anything that you know will help. He's rummaging through his pockets. Uh, nope. Okay, cool. Um, as Alex out of Ruben, mm, give me a second because I don't actually know. Alex out of Ruben. I don't Just think because my... I don't want to turn it to be the only healer and also be the one that gets blown up every other day. Uh, <laughs> Listen, no, uh, all... you don't want Silver to be a healer because yes, he has healer. No, but all I can do in the terms of healing is a good back rub. I can give you your spell slots back, though. Remember that. Yeah. That was okay. Cool. Good thing I don't have any. Uh, um... but other than that, my I don't think any of my things have it, other than <clears throat> my uh my magic word. Because I have a feeling that I don't die easy but I also don't want to find out the hard way that that feeling is wrong yeah that, that, that disappointment is going to hit you like a truck if it does. It no it's truck, going to hit me like a brooch exploding yeah Ruben is not a healer in any sort of way yeah I forgot that I have holy water <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Shalex heal though? Shalex yeah. has some yeah. healing, uh, and Eterna has some healing. You're both kind of like half casters who can heal. That's um, all we ever need. Ah, uh, this is gonna go great, oh, okay. guys. But those uh, are the only healers in the party. Right, Tyler out of character. What if we just revive Leo and call it a day? Because he he definitely did his job very well. All right, Jordan. Okay, but like, characters. okay, but like, do you even know where Leo's body is? Realistically, you remember in where the that is. <laughs> realistically, his body is in the ground by now. I mean, realistically, his body might be in the ocean, depending on high tide. True. Unless, do you think the orcs might have, you know, please no made him into a sweater? Oh, I thought you were gonna say something else. Uh, no, he didn't. No, no. Eterna would know if orcs eat say. people, wouldn't no, she? No, I'm not. No conversation done. <laughs> um, Eterna, you, Eterna, the only experiences you have with cannibalism are not really cannibalism because that was done by the experiments and not by the actual people. Okay. Cool, I love eating some cannibals. I don't know if orcs would eat people. I mean, animal I mean don't. Shifters. Looks at the entire shifter animal party. Except Ruben. Except Ruben yeah, and Shalex, who's a rock. <laughs> a rock. It's We've a got a rock, question. three animals, and a taxpayer. It's a valid question. Oh my yeah. god. Oh my god. I just realized. Alex. Yeah, what's up? This party is you and a crystal and three of your stuffed animals. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you can find every member of this party in your room in real life. I just realized the the worst part is, room. I can. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I have a monkey, but I do Let's have a, I have a bunny, so I, I, could, I could do Leo, technically. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get you a monkey. All right, monkey, monkey, monkey. Oh, but you have a My fox. gym partner is a Do monkey. You have I have a dragon, which is kind of Tyler. Kinda. Uh, Close enough. And I have uh, a wolf. Also counts because I think at this point it turns. Yeah, out I have. I have a. a uh, I have. If I go over here, I have a little gray and white wolf with blue ears and blue eyes. It's a fox. I think I also have a fox somewhere. I had, I know I had a fox, but I think Lexi might have gotten to it. Oh. Oof. But it's okay. She's cute. She deserves it. Maned wolves look so dumb with their long ass legs. So, around this time, uh, Fedrata kind of comes back around the corner. 
All right, so I have a plan or an idea if you're up for it. Uh, there's other ways to uh, get this time, but I think this is the best way because it also uh, will say cripples one of the genies who... I, I'm sure you're familiar with the... Um, the common genie idea that uh, other mortals are beneath them. They're a little prideful. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, most of them have slaves. Of oh. a numerous different sorts. Um, this one in particular... Well, almost all of them have slaves, honestly. But this one doesn't treat his very well. And he's one of the richer ones. Uh, since whist time is so hard to get, I know I've actually seen... He has a sort of temporal mind. Uh, he found a particularly rich uh, vein of whist time and set up an enchantment to mine and process the whist time, send it out of the enchantment, and then send the rock back in time to be able to mine the same or countless times. And that's how he produces the whist time that he's used in floors, walls, ceilings, sculptures, you name it. He's a big fan of the stuff. Wait a second. So you said the whist time is in his like walls and like ceiling and stuff like that? Yeah. But I think the main focus ought to be his... The time part. His way of generating the whist time. Uh, that'll cripple him economically. And I've been working with some of his slaves for a while now to work on a revolt. I think that that would be a... Perfect distraction to bring down Sanel the Light. Sanel the Light. Yes. That's his name. Not a great guy. And of course, he has more names than that, but who can bother to remember a genie's list of epithets? Yeah, like a mile long. <laughs> All right, so uh, how do you specifically even get to the airplane? Oh, I've got the portal in the back room. Oh, wait, you just have the you portal in, the, in your basement? Wait. Pretty much, yeah. Huh. I mean, that, if I had a portal... Definitely put it in my basement. Well, it's actually in the know. attic, don't you know? Eh. That's why I have an attic. I mean, it is, it is closer to the, the sky, I guess. Precisely. To the basement. Yeah. So, do you think you're in? Get into this enchantment, disable it from the inside, and. Take the whist time that's in there. So, do you specifically know how this magic works that he goes back in time with? Oh, not at all. <laughs> if I knew it, I'd do it myself. Hold on a second. So, okay, bear with me, y'all, okay? What if we go back in time with the whist time, and then we take the whist time from back in time so he has no whist time? Okay, Jim. That's some good, good thinking, but how do we do that? We, okay, so he, he has to have a way to send the whist time back in the first place, right? So you you think you're, you're So if we go back with the whist time, then if we take the original whist time, then that would, then we'd be good and he wouldn't have any whist time anymore, right? Okay. Like I said, you're crippling. But, but Jim. When you think about it, if we prevented 
us from uh, if we take the fucking witch sign from there, from that, from the pat, from that fast point, wouldn't that prevent us from making us want it, want us to get the press sign in the future? Okay. Now the press sign is the non-law. Now, the, now us oh, in the future oh, just oh, yeah. didn't even know it's a thing. Oh, you're gonna hurt you. Uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. You're actually right. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Y'all, it doesn't I, I work that way. I think you're misunderstanding. Uh, the machine that he has only sends the whist time back in time. And so, it it doesn't actually change the flow of time. It just summons a memory of what the rock that had the whist time ore in it used to be. And so, it doesn't actually... Like the whole machine loops through the same cycle over and over again, uh, inside, but it continually removes with time. It generates what if you had an infinite number of years, you could have an infinite number of with time. It sort of runs itself, you know. But there has to be like an original source of the with time, right? Oh yes, but the gener the the uh, temporal lock is not strong enough to reach that far back. It only reaches uh, far enough back to the previous iteration of Wist Time. Damn it. Question. Oh, damn it. Answer. As an artificer, how can I make this? What can I roll to understand <laughs> this? That's a great question. Oh, you're speaking out of character. Um, yeah. Got him. You would likely need access to 10th level magic to do this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's uh, so I could uh, wish for <laughs> the machine. Wish would not be strong enough. Wish is ninth level. So hey. I couldn't wish for the machine hey, uh, to be mine. Hey, hey Alex, wanna risk your entire like character for a, for a lousy wish? No, thank you. Okay, that's fair. Um. <laughs> no. Uh, the sort of self-sustaining time magic that uh, Theodrata is talking about sounds very specifically 10th level. So I don't suppose you know how to disable it, or we're just going to have to find that out when we get there. Oh, well, once you get in, if you smash enough things, it'll stop working. Or explode. With us in it? Yeah, let's go. No! <laughs> Let me disarm it. I can probably figure it out. That's the speed. Okay. okay, but what if we just like, just so happen to run into the genie? Oh, oh, you won't. Yeah. I'll be busy um, inciting all of his um, little underlings to cause him an, a no end of problems. Oh, by the way. We're both uh, acting as distractions for each other. Yeah, you do. Okay. Um, I can just... Pat Zersa. Uh, I have a, uh, stand-in that can... that can help us. In case it explodes. Poor Ursa. <laughs> Probably... Magic is often stored in gemstones. That's the mo that's the easiest way to store magic. And depending on which gemstone you use, it's one of the most dense ways to store magic. Um, only denser way would be as a liquid, but that is very difficult to do. Um, and so gemstones are used often to trap light within them, and that light is used to power magic. So presumably that's what he's done. Um, I definitely remember his creation glowing, so it probably uses magic in the form of light, um, to activate, um, if you remove the power source, it can't explode. So... Once you end up within this machine, this area, uh, if you find what's generating the power, 
and remove it. There might be a specific order that you have to remove it in, just depending on what's powering what. Um, but the best thing is, um, if you do it in an incorrect order, and the machine's still active, um, as long as you have some of the Wistine ore with you, just take off a chunk and take it with you. It should take you back in time with the Wistine, and so you'll sort of be able to live through that time again, retain your knowledge, and continue to try. Okay. So, so we get multiple chances, technically, then. As long as, long as the machine is active and you have Wistine on you, even if you die there, it'll just bring you back. Just like it brings the Wistine back. Or it should. Okay, I think Damn. I get it. So I, I just want to know how far back this machine goes now. Like I said, um, if I remember the tour he gave me, it was only it only took about a minute or so, uh, to refine the Wistine. Um, and so that's when it would send back. So it only reaches back maybe a little over a minute. Oh, that's disappointing. That is very. Time travel on a scale beyond minutes is something that has never been successfully done before. Yeah, time travel sounds like a bunch of wibbly bobbly. Timey wimey. Yeah. Bear me, bear me. So, are you in? Uh, Are we yeah. taking down an emperor I, today? I, I, I think. Yeah, I think. What do you? What do you guys think? I, 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 I think. I assume there's gonna be like dangers that are gonna be like guarding it or something. Oh no! Nothing. Nothing lives within the machine. It's very much a self-contained thing. Oh. There's so much magic flying around that. Uh, <laughs> well, you'll see when you get there. Be and th and through your portal, is it just like, do we have to sneak in, or does your portal go straight to its place? I can configure where it goes, actually. Um, and so I should be able to send you directly in. Um, and he wouldn't be able to detect it or anything? Well, he would be if he wasn't focused on me, having showed up an hour earlier, mm, having his slaves kind of revolt against him. We're working as distractions for each other. We're trying to overwhelm him so that he can't really stop anything. I feel like we're underestimating him. Oh, no. No. If anything, he's prideful. He'll underestimate us, and that's where we win. Okay. Whatever you say. I'm risking my life just as much as you are on this. And the only people actually going to get hurt are the people in the vault. Probably. Hopefully. All right. Well, and him, of course. Uh, hopefully. I'm as ready as anyone else is. So you watch as uh, she, like, reaches under the table, and this is a gnome. She's, like, three foot four, okay? She reaches under the table and pulls out a four foot long sword and just waves it above her head and holds it up, then let's go! And she just rushes off upstairs. I'm going on an adventure. Whoosh. Adventure! By the way, you would notice uh, this particular sword um, is made of the Malchium. That's the earth one. That's the green one. That's the earth one, yeah. Yeah, got it. Got him. The same stuff that Crimshaw's dagger was made of. Yes, sir. So, uh, as you step upstairs, kind of going up this spiral staircase, um, the theme, you kind of go through a door at the top of the spiral staircase, and the theme of this place goes from cozy alpine cottage to mad scientist lair. Full on. There are 
beakers and bottles and arcane drawings that are like hung from the ceiling to like hang together. Um, there's a cork board with like a bunch of red string tied around it um, with different like bits of arcane writing on it. Um, and Turna has entered a candy shop. Um... Yes, very much so. Uh, you have entered not only a candy shop, but something that reminds you of your childhood without all of the, uh, you know, bad things. It reminds you of the fun parts of your childhood. Um, and so as you step in, she kind of goes up to one of three raised daises kind of set into what would be dormer windows, but they're not actually windows there. Um just kind of like set into the slant of the roof um there's three days and he steps up to one of them kind of rotates a couple of stone dials and she says so i'm gonna go in here uh wait uh, five to ten minutes should be long enough for me uh then change this to here which of you knows the most of the arcane a turner shoots her hand up <laughs> You, come here. And she shows you, like, which specific runes on the two dials to line up um, with the kind of arrow across it. Uh, line that up there. Press the center button. And then that should take you directly into the machine. Into the machine? Well, yes. Yeah. That's where Won't you're going we, anyways. Like, but inside of the machine, wouldn't we get, like, crushed, question mark? No, we would be sent back in time. You might get crushed, but then what? you would be sent back in time and then oh. get crushed brought, again. Back, brought back and you will learn how to avoid being crushed. But we're inside the machine, not outside of it and, like, beside it. Uh, you're not understanding. This is sort of like a floating sphere of magic. There's not really a way to get in it unless you can fly just at will. Unless you just trust the process. The easiest way for me to get all of you there, undetected and safe, is to throw you straight in. Okay. So, five to ten minutes. Got it? And she, on this, the different symbols that she had already set up, steps in, and you watch as her, as she steps in, her form dissolves into, like, almost a vapor that winds up into, like, a small twisting sphere, and suddenly, whoosh, against the wall, and dissipates. And you are left alone in this room. Guys, this is a perfect time to just leave and take your dog. <laughs> no. I'm already on that. Let's go. Yo, she's a gnome. Can I put two and two together that she would ride her dog with a horse? Um, her dog is not quite big enough for that. Oh, okay. Like, it's... it's it's not Annabelle sized. Okay. Um. If she was maybe six and in, six inches shorter, a foot shorter, she might do it. But even that would be pushing it. Okay. Okay. I was like, that's a battle dog, you morons. But never mind. <laughs> no, that is very much just a cute and adorable pet. Don't steal her dog. <laughs> Damn it. I was thinking about it. Plus, where are you gonna put it? Like, for, uh, oh Ketzel, God, isn't he a snow leopard? Aren't you worried about him, like, attacking it? Uh, no. Ketzel loves animals. He doesn't get territorial. Not that 
I know of. Squint. <laughs> All right, um, I'll just play with the dog for 15 minutes. No, Over 15. 5 to 10. <laughs> oh, is it, oh, I thought she said 15. No. Hmm. 5 to 10. All right, we'll uh, wait for seven minutes. Okay. Um, I go ahead and move the... Line up the runes. Okay. As you do, the um, circle kind of comes to power once again. Instead of just a pure, like, white light coming up out of this dais, though, there's, like, a slight fringe of purpley magic kind of coming in through this portal. Going into the portal? No, coming out from. Can like, I do an arcana uh, check to make sure it's, like, not, like, it's good? Does it feel like the corruption that's outside? Hmm. No, different, different purple. Different purple? Okay. Very different purple. Can uh, okay, do is... our account kind of check to yeah. see if this is supposed to happen? Sure. Uh, that is going to be a 11. On uh, an 11? Um, this is really unfamiliar technology uh, and arcane magic to you. But you're kind of thinking of it like a doorway. If a magic is happening on one side of a doorway and you open the door, the magic would probably leak out a little bit. So the fact okay. that there's magic, like, kind of leaking in around the edges here just a little bit, best guess, something magical is happening on the other side of the gateway Hopefully that means that it's pointed at this magical temporal engine that you're supposed to go dismantle. Alright, after it's been uh, nine minutes, I start going through the portal and like wave y'all past. Alright, to come with whatever. I think I should at least try to uh, cast fly on one of you guys though. Which one is the most important? Who wants to do some heavy lifting for starters, I guess? I can do heavy lifting. Yeah, I'm not that strong, surprisingly enough. I am that strong, surprisingly enough. So, Ruben and Jimna? Yeah, I'll do it. Alright, so you're casting fly before you go through the portal? Oh wait, no, I, I have four power. I was about to say, I probably don't have any spell slots for it. Oh wait, shit. What? I, 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 I have a... Hey, Ruben, um... Can you do me a favor? Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Can you give me some, some spell, spell power? Uh, Dear Lord, are you not prepared for this? <laughs> no, no, I'm comfortable. I, I'm prepared. I feel I, like this was supposed to be specified before we started the actual plan. I, I could have sworn I had. I didn't take a trip. I didn't we could have waited for tomorrow so we could rest up. I didn't take an hour to rest, did I? But <laughs> I was so pumped. I was standing. You know what? This is this is. This is typical. <laughs> this is peak D &D right here. Is oh fuck, we forgot to rest. Everything's bad. I don't know what else I was expecting. Um, Eterna already stepped through the portal. Uh... Yeah, there's no going back now. Eterna's <laughs> just gonna fucking fall down. There's no right. going back now. How, how many spell slots do you need, Tyler? I can technically you, give myself another, another like, th third level spell slot. I only need it- You could just do one of us. I could just do one of you. Well, then you should probably do me if we're yeah. doing heavy lifting. I could heavy lift. okay. 
If you want to, Jordan, that's up to you, but I... No, I don't trust myself. Okay. As soon as Mood. You, as soon as you find a platform... Uh, I guess the plan that now is just to pick up a turn before uh, he falls to us. Possibly falls to us. Wouldn't there be at least something on the ground that would, like, make us not fall? I don't know. I never been Either in way. an airplane before it did. If well, whenever I, I go in there and I start falling, I'm casting Feather Fall on me. Okay. If I start falling, uh, let me know if I do. Yeah, don't don't mark that off yet. <laughs> but yeah, yet. Uh, I use I use power and suck 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 all that magic. Suck. Let me know if you need any more, cause I can probably smack you real quick. Yeah. Anyways, while they're doing that, I'm gonna hop through the portal after I turn up. Alright. in the whole place! Wait for uh, Ruben! Wait for Ruben to carry you! Unless you think you can- Too fly. late! Can monkeys fly, Ruben? Uh, well, we'll see. I, only maybe, if you... maybe I'm one of those elusive flying monkeys. Yeah, <laughs> only if it's a wizard named Oz. I quickly cast fly on Ruben then. Okay. Alright. Shalix kind of steps through the portal. Fucking Christ. I grab Oyo and I, Ruben, and I go, get go through the portal. No, Ruben, no, I just, I just climb on Ruben's back. I'm getting, I'm gonna take you back. Go. We just zoom through. <laughs> Random question, is the phrase piggyback ride considered to be, like, racist against pig shifters? Yes. Probably. <laughs> Same with horseback rides. <laughs> Just, I don't know, I had a thought. Unless you're, like, part of that species. I just imagine some, like, teethling walking up to a pig shifter and going, You want a piggyback ride? Oh, no, you'd get the shit beat out of you for <laughs> <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> imagine telling that to Bojack Horseman. Dude, Bojack as a D&D &D character? There we go. There you go. Oh, man. You money. So, as you all, one by one... In sort of a uh, panic state, step through the portal here. You all find yourself kind of crammed into a box. You you step through, and the box is like moving up and down slightly. You can hear the rattling of chains as well as this swirling vortex around you you all find yourself like just crammed into this tiny space um and Ruben and Poyo as you guys come through the the pressure inside this box is just too much and you all just kind of poof, the lid pops off of the box and you find yourself surrounded by this swirling spherical purple vortex uh, with, like, motes of light dancing through, and these various platforms suspended in midair, chained together, uh, whirring around you. Um, let's see, uh, you would recognize this stone right here, right next to you. Um, just looking at it and having heard... Wistine being described as a sort of cloud-like material by Eterna, you can see this this rock is almost like see-through in some pieces. And so that is probably the chunk of Wistine ore. <laughs> so, um. we are going to go into a 10 round set this machine resets every minute so a minute is 10 rounds so every 10 rounds you will come back to this location um go ahead and take screenshots of your current spell slots of your current hit points of your current abilities used every time we reset all of that is going to come back so I do nothing. Got it. Ruben, I should, Alan, so I just keep watched. track of what you of keep, what you use. Keep track of, keep track of what we use while we're here. Every time this machine resets, as long as you reset with it, you will get those abilities back. I, I have a question. 
I have an answer. Um, so for uh, my question, um, if I, let's say, use the right tool for the job, pull a pair of Smith tools out of my ass, and uh, mine some uh, with Stein, and I put it in my pocket, will it stay in my pocket, or will it disappear? Uh, when you were reset? That's a good question. You might want to check that the first time you reset. Uh, nevertheless, in the order that we arrived here, Hoyo, you're not here yet. Ruben, you're not here yet. Jin, you're not here yet. Shalex, you're not here yet. <laughs> on the on the on our first round, Eterna, you step through this portal and you're just in this box, and you kind of like slide the lid off and you recognize the wh- chunk of Wistine ore like floating next to you. So uh, what are I'm you doing for round one? For round one, I want to hop onto the the rock. Easy enough jump to make. Um, I want to <laughs> use the right tool for the job. Go ahead to where? And throw that in chat. Yep. I think fucking. Uh, oh wait, it takes an hour. Yes. Fuck. Oh wait, 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 wait. I think I have of the weird, the weird metal stone question mark tools. I think I have Smith tools of that. I don't think I sold them. Even though I don't see them anywhere, damn. Hmm. Let me see if I march them out. But so, the, that is what I want to do. And I'm pretty sure I have the that pair of smith tools I got from a uh, Zephyrion. Um, I don't remember you selling them, so I think you would have them as well. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll say sure you do have them. You have say, a hammer and chisel, specifically, that you know you can use to grab a chunk of this if you need it. Alright, so I want to do that. I right. want to get a chunk. So that's your movement, that's your action. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and, that's six seconds. Uh, after about six seconds, you notice the crystal up here starts charging up. Um, and you hear Jin into the box. I made it. I Oh, dear lord, what's all this? So, we're on round two. Do you want us to roll initiative? Uh, no, I'm actually... I'm gonna... make some things here to keep track of what round we're on. Y'all keep playing. I'm just doing background stuff. Alan, um, can you just re-explain what uh, gets reset because my mom called me and she... um, what you have now? What you your have health now. points. So your health, any abilities that you have or use, any spell slots that you have or use, um, consumable items do not reset. But anything that is a thing that you do, anything that's an ability or a hit points or anything like that, that will reset when the machine resets, as long as you have a chunk of Wistine ore on your person. Okay. So if we don't have Wistine on us, then... Then you don't reset with the machine. Well, I then... always have Wistine... I've always had Wistine on me, so haha. Fuck you guys. Wait, no, I haven't. Wait, no. Let me just slide of hand, steal some... <laughs> steal the Wistine from Jim. I just realized I don't have any because I'm stupid. Aha. Aha. Joke's on you. Joke's on me. (laughs) 
So, what are you guys doing for round two? Uh, uh, how how big are these chains up. here? Like, can I just walk on them? Um, like, you can you can certainly try to scamper across them. Um, it would definitely, especially for you, Jin, it would be easier. Um, but it would still require some effort. The thicker chains that you see over here. And especially these ones over here, you can definitely move across as difficult terrain. These smaller chains uh, would require an ability check. And then you said there was Wistine on, like, the rock where Turna is, yeah? Yes, that appears to be the chunk of Wistine ore. And there isn't any Wistine on any other chunks I see? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like right. that chunk of ore is the ore that is constantly reset to extract Wistine. Okay. Uh, and then what are these like glowing things up on like the pedestal things here are those the charging things so um on round two which is the round that we're currently in this crystal here appears to be charging up it's glowing brighter there's like a kaleidoscope of colors spinning within it and kind of prisming out and it, none of the others are glowing it appears to be the others are glowing but they're not like actively glowing or like spinning this one looks like it's about to activate okay well uh i'm just gonna try to hop over to the other where turn is and get myself some with i like i like the tiny sigil wait a second hey guys let's go on break while we're uh setting stuff up here real quick I hope you're going to edit all this out, by the way. Uh, I'll keep it all in. I'm going to do a monologue, okay? You ready? You all right. So once upon a time, her. there was um, an adult man, and that man... Jordan, can you, can, you say that, can you say that all that again? Okay, yeah, so I'll once... Off, but... All right, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, okay. Now, now. Okay, so once upon a time, there was an adult man, and that man said, Hey, I don't want to work in this place anymore. I'm getting fed up. So he said, Hey, boss, get your hell out of here. Uh, jo Jordan, I I'm going to need to ask you to watch watch your language for the viewers. Oh, I'm, so oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, let, me, sorry let, let me start over again. <laughs> let me start over again. Stop from the top. All right. So once upon a time, there was an adult woman. And that woman said, I love this place. This place is an amazing place to work. But then the person in the cubicle next to that person was like, What are you talking about? This place is terrible. And then the woman said, Well, maybe you're just not doing it right. And the man said, Yo, fuck this shit up. Alright. That's, uh, right. that's, that's it. And we're back. Alright, I have everything set up. You can see there is a little round counter in the corner. Ye boy. So... As we are here on round two, uh, Eterna, you have a small chunk of Wistine for yourself that you've kind of put in your pocket. Uh, this crystal up here is, seems to be charging up for something. Jin, you've just popped in. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, I'm going to chip off another piece to give to Jin. I'm just going to keep getting pieces. Oh, okay. you give to me? Okay, well, uh, I'll just hop over there. Hop, skip, and jump. You're just going to hop over there to grab it? Yeah. Okay. And then, Jin, what would you like to do for your action? And it turn if you'd like to have a movement, you can. Uh, nah, just more action. <laughs> well, it was your action to break off another chunk. Well, I, I know. Okay. And then I got a piece of Wistine, then? Uh, yes, you grabbed one from Eterna. Eterna just got one for you. Okay. Um... I honestly kind of want to make my way over to the charging crystal over there. Okay, so you spent 10 feet of movement to get up here, so that would be another 10 feet, and then... Do you have 40 I've... feet of movement? 
I have 35. 35? Ah. Uh, I can action dash. Roll an athletics check for me uh, for the rest of that movement, and then based on that, we'll see if you need to. Oh, true. 24. 24, yeah. You scamper across the chain there easily. No problem. Um, so you get there. Um, that's where you are based on... You still have your action? Um, I'll action dash over to the other one. <laughs> okay. Uh, still running off of that 24. You get there. No problem. Okay. Do you have any bonus actions you'd like to do? That goes for you, Eterna, as well. Uh, is there anything... Is there any, like, buttons I can press on, uh, this, like, thing here or something? Doesn't seem to be any buttons, no. Uh, it's just uh, a uh, large, like, uh, D8-shaped crystal that appears to have set down in this holster. It's large. It's about as big as you are. Um... That's, like, in this setting here. Uh, can I try to, like, I don't know, push it or something out of the, uh, out of its socket or wherever it is? Not as a bonus action. How about I use an object action for fast hands? Um, well, let's see. Can't you dash as a bonus action? I can. Oh, I can. Got him. Alright, so we'll say you dashed as a bonus action, and then, as your action, go ahead and make an athletics check for me to see if you can remove this crystal from its socket. Uh -huh. <laughs> nope. <sighs> Trying to, like, push up against it. It's not budging at all. Okay. So that'll be the end of round two. At the start of round three, a few things happen. Um, Shalex, Ruben, Poyo are not there yet. Um, but... At the start of round three, this crystal activates, and a beam of this pure, like, light blue energy strikes this chunk of Wistine or Eterna, I need you to make a DC 22 dexterity saving throw. Uh, <laughs> Dex throws, we have to roll D20, right? Uh, yeah, saving throws, you have to roll roll 20. 17 is not enough. So you are oh. going to oh, take... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, never mind. I thought that uh, feline agility would do something for dex throws, but it does not. So you take 73 points oh. of force damage as this beam of pure light impacts the rock and this piece of ore and just shatters it. And both you and all of the shards of this ore just go flying out into the sphere, bouncing off of the edges, staying contained within this area. Um, and uh, you, Eterna, you are not unconscious from this, I believe. Uh, yeah, no, I am below zero. <laughs> but not enough to be insta-dead. Not quite insta-dead, but you still have that chunk of Wistine on you. Yep. Um, as these pieces... So Jin. Uh, as these pieces are bouncing around within this sphere of this purple energy swirl, you notice all of these smaller crystals here begin to, like, trace, uh, specific chunks, uh, with, like, just small little beams just kind of locking on, keeping track of where each piece of Wistine is after this rock has been blasted apart. What are you doing? Is is the, is is any of the beams tracking the one that I have? Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Since it's, uh, I assume you've put it in a pocket. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not visible, so it's not being tracked. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's mildly traumatizing, but I'm gonna <laughs> run back. <laughs> <laughs> You're wanting to run, run back. back to the box? Yeah, because I don't feel I can, I don't feel I can make this. Uh, no, that rock is not there anymore. This entire rock isn't? This, that entire stone was just shattered by the beam of light that put Eterna to zero hit points. So what, is Eterna just floating in the air or something? Yep, Eterna, as well as the pieces of this rock, were blown to bits. Uh, and are just, these pieces are pinging off of the inside of this sphere of magic that you're in. 
they're just bouncing around in here. There's like shards of Wistine just flying through the air. And then what are the um, actual like things doing to the Wistine? Is it like pulling it towards them? It's not pulling anything. It seems to just be like a beam of light tracking their location as they're bouncing around. Okay. What did I miss? Uh, it's uh, trying to get blasted. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I can. And I don't have rope. <laughs> no, you don't. I think Atan is the only person that has rope. <laughs> <laughs> you can try to catch Eterna and take her rope if you'd like. <laughs> no, because I don't think I have the rope on me. Oh, wait, no, I do. I yeah. thought I sewed it back into a rope. So as I can see, as I can tell, Eterna is floating and gravity isn't affecting her. Uh, gravity does not appear to be affecting her or any of the other pieces of this ore here. Okay, so I'm going to try to configure myself in a way where I can like leap, grab Eterna, and try to like keep on going. Uh, where are you trying to land? Either on the platform here or on the chain. Why okay. don't you wait for Raven? Because he can fly. I will say... Roll an investigation check to see if you can find a way to jump and grab Eterna and land somewhere in this vicinity. Okay. Eleven. That's good, right? Um, yeah, so you can see where Eterna will bounce like a couple of times and then come to a place where you can jump from where you currently are and grab her and get to uh, the chain here. Um, but that's not going to happen for another several seconds. And who knows what's going to happen in this place in the next 12 seconds. But what if I just jump? If you just jump straight at Eterna where she is like headed right now? Yeah. You have no idea where you'll land, or if you'll land. You just immediately fall into the void. No, 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 she's floating. Like, she, she's fine. This so I'll how, be fine, right? This is how Jin dies. <laughs> if you'd like to, go ahead and roll an athletic check. You know what? I like my odds. <laughs> 14. On a 14, um, you kind of get a running start across this chain and leap up, uh, trying to grab a turn of there. And you are able to grab on, but you are now free floating just across above what? everything. Jesus. Um, maybe not that far. Maybe closer to there. Okay, cool. Uh, but you were just like 15, 20 feet above everything, free floating, unable to like move of your own volition. But you've got Eterna's body right there. Alright, perfect. All <laughs> according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> plans within plans, and plans within those plans. <laughs> So does that, uh, that's going to end your round? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We move to round four. At the beginning of round four, the crystal here, uh, down here, begins to kind of twist and start to uh, begin that glowing light show again. Uh, and you watch as the energy is kind of traveling down these chains into like some of these crystals uh, embedded onto this particular stone here. Um, as you are floating along, um, Shalex pops in and just looks around completely bewildered. Help! Help! What is going on? Help me! 
What are you trying to do, um, uh, Jen? Uh, is there a way I can, like, swim my way down or something? Um, the closest to that that you could potentially get is taking a turn as a rope and using it as, like, a, um, like, trying to lasso yourself to a stone. To find my rope, you have to go into my bag of holding. Doesn't a bag okay. of holding automatically pull up what you're looking for when you go I into it? I don't know. I would assume so. Otherwise, it would just be hell to go through bags of holding. Yeah, yeah I feel like if you it's like just backpacks like... in Minecraft. Exactly. <laughs> uh, let me check on that real quick. I believe it does. I feel like it does, because like, we've never questioned it whenever I'm just like, I pull this out of bag. The bag has an interior space considerably larger than the outside dimensions, roughly two feet in diameter at the mouth, four feet deep. The bag can hold 500 pounds, not exceeding the volume of 64 cubes. Do, do, do. Uh, retrieving an item from the bag requires an action. Damn. But my fast hands don't do anything, right? Uh, I would say I would allow you to do it as a bonus action with your fast hands. Let's go. Alright, fast hands. I'm gonna get the, uh, Grab the rope. rope. Alright, hypothetically, my brain is thinking that gravity is centralized on each little platform here. So, it should work. So, I'm gonna last. Can I lasso it onto, like, some of the rope or some of the chains or something? Some of the chains that you're floating over? Yeah. Um, you could certainly try, yeah. Um,. That'll be, I'll say, roll just a uh, dexterity check. I like those. I like those. I like my odds. 21. With 21, you kind of quickly grab this rope, tie it together, and fling it uh, at this chain, uh, this chain here as you're passing over it. And you manage to kind of pull yourself in an arc down to land onto this uh eterna's body spills out of your hands uh but you manage to land there uh vaguely safely that's the fav my that's my favorite kind of safe um shalex uh kind of sees that you've got that handled and is just going to try to make her way across over to there. here uh, I'm gonna have her roll them. Sorry. I get so confused looking at the token. The token is... I don't know. The token is a token. It sure is a token. I'll remember one day. But will it be today? Who no. knows? No, it won't. Because I'm really <laughs> bad at this. Pronouns are hard. Let's roll in athletics. Oh. oh. Dice are hard. Uh, so as Shalex is kind of tumbling across, she, like, lose, uh, they, like, they lose their grip. Words! God damn. Um, they lose their grip and just begin tumbling. Uh, they end up over on this platform, but they are gonna take... 12 points of bludgeoning damage doing so as they kind of like they lose gravity and just kind of soar and like crack their back upon landing um but that will be Shalex so that'll be the end of round four at the start of round five uh, this crystal activates and suddenly all of these smaller crystals um, that have each in and of themselves like been tracking different pieces of Wistine um, they receive a bolt of energy from this uh, larger crystal and it kind of like shoots off as a beam of light to each of these smaller crystals and the smaller crystals that have been tracking these pieces shoot off a uh, beam of light to those smaller crystals and you see the crystals whoosh, out of thin air and kind of like gather loosely 
into this uh, box that you saw there. Um, and they're all kind of like floating together in that. Um, and as they are floating, several of them are scattered as Poyo and Ruben suddenly poof, into the box and pieces go everywhere and they begin to be tracked again. Uh, and this, um, this, this crystal here begins charging up again. Uh, you will also notice, you will also notice this crystal here, uh, begins to charge up. Alright, Ruben, where is everyone? I have no idea. Okay, I'll keep uh, hi! And Charlotte kind of waves, like, holding their back. Also, hi, we're dying over here. Uh, Ruben, do you think you can give me another, uh, another spot? For sure. I, uh, smack him on the head and I'll throw it in chat. Okay. Shalex is also gonna call out, Can you toss me one of those pieces of ore? What's in my... Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm guessing this is, uh... This is what we need. Yeah. Can I also pick up a piece of ore? Yes. Uh, and Poyo, you can grab one as well. I grab two and just give one of them to Ruben because I have the high, I have the high ground. Or is, 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 can Poyo be, like, part of me because he's on top of me? Or do I have to have my own? You um, have equipped a Poyo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your Poyo backpack. Do you really want to take the risk of not having your own? I mean, I can have my own, but... Why wouldn't you want your own? I don't know, I could just mooch off of Poyo. Why would you there's want to plenty of, there's, there's plenty of Westine there. There's plenty of Westine right there. Okay. Oh yeah, I could probably... Does Shalux have one? Shalux does not. Yeah, I'll get another one. You're gonna toss it to Shalux? Yeah. Okay. Shalux, catch! Roll a dex check. DC 8. Ha! 6. You toss it and it just goes wide. Shalix kind of like jumps up to try to grab it and just cannot. I take another one. Okay, Shalix. <laughs> That'll be your action and movement. Um, so you can do one more if you'd like, but that'll be like the last thing you do this round. Oh yeah. Uh, did you did you roll, Ruben? Uh -oh, I have to roll for you. Yeah. Roll a d3. A second level slot. Yeah. I mean, I get I get Thunderstep and Dragon Wings, so this is not bad. Thunderstep is third level. Fuck. Misty Step is second level. Okay. Oh. This one I got Thunderstep right out of the fucking. Uh... No, Thunderstep is third level for sure. Fucking, I could have sworn that I used Rule Twenty to. Uh... Yeah, you're right. Huh. Yeah, I know for a fact. So you'll f um, fix that in between Dragon sessions. Step. Fix that on your own time. I can just let... I can, I'm pretty sure I can literally just drag it. To the, no, I can't. Um. Yeah, you're going to have to copy-paste everything. Why, why, why is Rule 20? Why can't they just make things easy? Why does it have to be so hard? Why do you have to make mistakes? If you go to the journal, uh, not the journal, the, like, information, you should be able to just click and drag it to wherever it is. That's what I did last time. That's what I did to do, like, any other character I've made on Roll20. Yeah, Thunderstep isn't in the Roll20 compendium for free, though. But why? Uh, because that's not a part of SRD. Because Rule 20 
Got it's you. not a it's not a part of the free part of D and D. So you would have to buy one of the books on Roll Twenty in order to get the Thunderstep. But yeah, you can try one more time uh, if you'd like, Poyo. Yeah, I mean I'm thinking back in on Ruben right now, so if anything, Ruben's my movement. Fair. All right, second try, second try, Skalik. I try again. Roll the next check. Oh my god. Tyler, you... God, why? This is just like real life me throwing. I can't throw this shit. Poyo, you're having a hard time figuring out that gravity is kind of weird here and like throwing things with the gravity the way it is here. Uh, he hit that ribbon on the face. You, uh... <laughs> yeah, you chuck it out and you throw it way too hard and it bounces off like the inside of the sphere that you're in. And it comes right back towards you, and just you manage to duck out of the way of it, and it clocks Ruben in the back of the head. You fucking asshole! Uh, no, no, that was Shalik. He, he, he laid for it back. It wasn't me. You do understand that I could easily just drop your ass into the void right now, right? E and I can easily fucking lose concentration. And who is giving you power? Who is giving you spells right now? Me. You only give me one. I can give you more if you be nice no, to me. You, no, you can't. So while that's happening, uh, Ruben, the bolstering magic was your action. Um, yeah, the creature, that creature can't reach it again. Oh, a long rest. Uh, Never mind. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, so Poyo used his action. Ruben yeah. used uh, his... Um, Shalex is actually going to try to come back across uh, to get a piece. So I will roll athletics for Shalex. You know, see, see what's funny is I could have used, wait, I had, I had an action, right? Uh, I your first used, throw I, was an action. Oh, okay, so what was the second one then? Like a bonus? The, the second throw I consider to be your bonus action, yeah. Okay. Because I was about to say, I could have just used Mage Hand. <laughs> I that would have done it, yeah! Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with the 15, Chalix is able to get back across, grab one of these, like, free-floating chunks of ore, and just stuff it in their pocket. Uh, which leaves Jin. Hi. What are you doing? Good question. As you see... Uh, this crystal's charging up, as well as, uh, this one here. The bottom left one, which one? This one, and this one. I think you okay. can see, I think you can see the numbers that I put on there. Yeah. Uh, two and four are charging up. Two and four, okay. Well, that's a while for those. But... Uh, turn is a die. <laughs> Whose fault is that? I don't play a blame Alan, game, huh? Yeah. Alan, we do we do secret death rolls. Am I dead, bleeding out, or conscious? Uh, you are still bleeding out. You're still in dying. You are dying. Congratulations. It's fine. You're immortal. Alright, you know what? I might as well just try to stabilize Eterna. Because that's literally all I can do. Okay. Uh, roll a medicine check. I just do the thing. There it is. Oh. I hate you. Eterna, you are now dead. Oh, wait. Yeah, Jim, Wait. you're you're trying to do like CPR on Eterna and you forget that you have a dagger in your hand. <laughs> wait. You're like, wait, wait, I need to cut an airway, and then you just stab me. Let me go check out of here real quick. Just just, just turn to Michael. Just tip <laughs> Very quickly. It went from fucking hardcore Minecraft to just 
Smithy was your friend from Minecraft Survival. <laughs> there you All go. That's, ask, that's the perfect gif. All I ask is since you know I will be resurrected, don't take my shit. I saw that going differently in my mind. Hey, hey, hey Jim! <laughs> Jim, is you guys okay, right? I'm fully traumatized! <laughs> 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 Why did you say that, Jim? Wait a second. If you we go see, back like, in a time, small I... cloud of blood just kind of like floating up into space here with the lack of gravity. Jim, what the fuck is that? Jim, why am I seeing a red cloud? Hey, wait a second. If we go back in time, can I forget this ever happened? Uh, no, unfortunately, you keep your memories. I turn, I wait, will it turn to remember this? Please make it turn to remember this. Eterna won't remember anything from uh, after she passed out. After she got blasted. After she got blasted. I, 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 I would have hoped he was a little bit conscious enough to go through. I just stab her right in the stomach. <laughs> it's hurting. You know You're what? having some really weird dreams as you're dying right now. <laughs> Alright, bonus action cry. Let's go. <laughs> is that gonna end? Is that, the, is that the end of everything for um this round? Sure. Step in round six, um, this crystal down here activates once again, sending out the beams to each of the smaller crystals and compiling all of the uh, Wistine ore once again into the box that you guys are in. Um, and you see this crystal is still charging up for just one more minute. Uh, just, just a little bit longer it seems to be. It's not quite so the light within it doesn't seem to be spinning quite fast enough to uh, necessarily activate. What do you do? Alright, can I pick up Poyo and... Uh, well, I already have Poyo, but can I pick up uh, Shalex and yeah. scoot the fuck out of there? Where do you want to go? You have a fly speed of 60 feet with the fly spell. Uh, Tyler, tell me where to go. Up. Uh, let's see, so like, maybe... What's that, like... I guess far. I can't... This is decently far, but I was thinking of trying to help, uh... I mean, 60 feet will get us to... Like, right, like around here. Literally here. Yeah. I mean, like, you could, like, drop one of us all off and shit to help these stupid, I guess. True. Unless you want to stay together. Well, this seems to be the best, uh, route. Yeah. Go there. To get one. So, I want to go here. Alright, you three kind of doof off. All right, who's getting off? Uh, Shalix will let go. Okay. Shalix, I'll come back for you. Okay. No problem. I I can't move or anything, right? Uh, so that was your full movement. You can action dash if you'd like, uh, and that'll get you Ow. another sixty feet. But that'll take yeah, your action. Yeah, you can come uh, over here and see the bloodshed I did. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll 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 make it over there. Y'all just walked over, and you see Jin's dagger sticking out of Eterna. So I'm just like shaking. <laughs> I'm visibly shaking. Jin, what the fuck? Jin, hey, what the what the fuck? Jin, I, <laughs> I failed to shake the out of it. Jin, Jin, what did I you do? Like, I know we're immortal here, but what the fuck? What look, the fuck? look, Get I. <laughs> Look, I get we all have some some weirdness with Eterna, but come on, man! Jin, Jin, I, didn't you, I didn't know you thought about Eterna that way. Oh, man. God, I can't keep looking at it. Ooh. I'm gonna throw up. I cover Ruben's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Poyo, you have action and movement if you'd like. Um, Shalex is going to step through one of the gates on this little platform here. Oh, the gates? Yeah, you see the little the gold archways there. Oh, I thought that was just part of 
front of the platform, like... Gonna come up I feel like there's like a railings or something. Step through yeah. there, and... Whoosh! Comes out there. But yeah, that was kind of... That was kind of pointless. Just kind of looks around. Hmm! Steps through. Whoosh! Comes out here in front of this, um... She kind of calls out, Looks like a strange form of automated anvil. Kill it. Do you think you can pick it up? Uh, sure. Shalex, uh, for their action, is going to try to pick up and throw this anvil. <laughs> Just throw it in our direction. No. Shalex is unfortunately unable to pick this up. So, um, Poyo, you have an action and movement. Jin, you have an action and movement. Uh, sure Ruben, you're done. Eterna, you're dead. By the way. By the way. <laughs> Y'all fight whenever I was like, yeah, I bleed black. Yep, I do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> Solve that mystery. See, that's what Jin was trying to do. Yeah, I was just, uh, yeah. I was just putting the pieces together. As, as I said, plans within plans. All for science. Don't worry about it. I just wanted to find out the hard way. It was all for science. It was all for science, monster. It's not about the West Tine, it's about the friends we killed along the way. Damn. Alright. Man, I bet, I bet that makes Poyo feel really sad. Get off of Ruben, I guess, and I, I look over here. Inspect this little shit. Wait, um, oh wait, yeah, that would make Poyo sad because everyone's fucking dead except for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um. Have I got a nickel? <laughs> you have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. It's depressing that it happened twice. <laughs> Wait, no, how many nickels would you have? Because Leo, Gilda... No, no. Bad. If Tyler, <laughs> if Tyler got a nickel for every time his character was the last surviving character of the original cast... Oh, I yeah, thought you meant nickels. just, like, in this game, how many characters have died in front of them. No, that'd be more than two. No, that'd be more than two. But, like, Bobbles uh, from Campaign 1 was the last surviving uh, original party member in... Hey, hey technically, yeah. Phil never died. Technically, technically. Technically, Phil never died, but the last surviving party member. About him. Sorry, Damn. Damn. Um, and then Poyo is once again the last surviving party member that's still a member of the party. Hey, can I get a cool anvil hammer then? German Draken. Can you make some constant? Can I have, can I have all my fucking weapons from Bobbles? <laughs> you can have a stick with a rock on it. I'll take it. I think it was a stick on a melon though. That was a melon on a stick. Oh yeah, that, you did have a you melon. You did have a melon on a stick. <laughs> that was great. Bobbles had a lot of fucking variety of her weapons. Yeah. Anyway, so you head over there. Uh, what are you trying to find out over here at this crystal? I just... I guess I just investigate it. Trying to figure out what it does? Yeah. Uh, trying to figure out what it does is going to be an arcana check. Uh, trying to yeah. figure out maybe necessarily how to break it would be a uh, investigation check. Okay. I pro Polio probably wants to break things, so I just look at to everyone else. You could also just hey, roll Jin, an attack or cast a spell if you'd like. Hey, hey, Jin, should I break this? Sure. I can't put a myth, myth, myth. No, wait. What would I do first? Eldritch Blast? Do I, do I punch it or just Eldritch Blast? I guess I'll do Eldritch I, Blast. I feel like you would Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. I feel like you would. Right up next yeah. to it, you just hold your hand up. Dragon, <laughs> <laughs> 
the energy seems to almost absorb into the crystal here and kind of pulse out through the matrix of lines on the ground around the crystal. Jim, this is bullshit. Okay. <laughs> so that'll be your action. Um, yeah. Jin, you have movement in action? You can try another way to destroy the crystal if you'd like. Uh, I stab it like you stab it like you did with Eterna. To be honest, <laughs> I kind of want to go for the anvil. I kind of want to pick it up. You can always just take it back on Ruben and have him, uh, you know, fly over there. Yeah. Anyone want to use me as a little like Uber? Just yell at me. <laughs> and I'll it. All right, Uber me up. <laughs> Well, I don't have any movement at the moment. <laughs> Alright, well, this was a waste of time. <laughs> I can Uber you next time, though. Jin, just well, jump in that direction and have Ruben catch you on the way over. I don't know, I'm just gonna jump over here and then just, like, gonna go through the portal. So you wanna jump there? Yeah. Alright, roll an athletics check not to necessarily see if you make it, um, but to see how safely you land. I like that. 25. Yeah, you're just fine. You land smoothly. Okay, so, uh... Did Shalix go up or down? <laughs> Which one was it? I'm not telling you. Ah, uh, but what if I just go in a different direction? You know what, I'll go down. You gonna go down? Yeah. Whoosh! <laughs> Wait, this is- wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how much movement do I have left? Um... Uh, I'm- I would consider you have already action dashed, or bonus action dashed, at this point. Uh, 20 more feet, we'll say. With a bonus action dash. Alright, I'm just gonna go back and just gonna go the other way. Whoosh! Ah, uh, yeah. Whoosh! That's as far as you can get. Alright, I still have an action, though. Yeah. <laughs> Here, while you're thinking, I go take a quick piss. I can't throw anything over there. They... Wait, I might as well just action dash. Get over there. Doing the monkey. Everybody do the monkey. My gym partner is a monkey, 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 monkey. monkey. Oh, what? what if it was just like clone high, but it was just us, char our characters? Like we were just in the high school setting. <laughs> I uh, like your funny <laughs> words, Magic Man. I definitely <laughs> call being JFK. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a turn would be Cleopatra. Yes. Probably. Yes. Cause I don't feel like I don't I don't feel like there are any other like options. Yeah, I feel like she's Cleopatra. Yeah. I feel like Jin or Foyo would be Gandhi. Would I, be... <laughs> I don't I have a literal uh, thief. I don't think I'd be Gandhi. G Gandhi, from, <laughs> G Gandhi from Clone High. Not Gandhi, the actual Gandhi. Okay, okay. Yeah. You fucking fuck watch the show. You know what I'm talking about. I don't actually. You, that's a lot of things. Technically, I've never watched a single episode of Clone High. Technically. Oh it's literally free on YouTube, Jordan. Oof. Is it? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. 
think it's a new it's series we have to watch. It's on the retro. <laughs> I might have to add this out as well. Uh, Leon the Plumber? <laughs> Is that he what has... Uh, yeah, Leon the Plumber has a couple episodes. <laughs> Thank Leon the pl Plumber. Alright, I'm back. Oh, I think I found it. How many episodes were there? So... <clears throat> Jin, did you action dash to get over there? Yeah. Okay. Um, so is that going to be the last of what you do? Yes, sir. Alright, then we are moving into round seven. <laughs> As you watch the lid on this box that had popped open when you arrived <laughs> suddenly closes, and a beam of light from this crystal strikes the box, and it entirely, like, the box itself and the chains attached to it begin to melt. Um, in the whist time there, then whew, disappears and actually appears directly in front of you as this molten liquid that is slowly pouring out onto this anvil. Oh, dear Lord. It's a good thing I didn't actually, like, stand on it. <laughs> um, and you see this crystal is charging up, uh, once, or excuse me, you would see this crystal is charging up once more. So, as that happens, uh, Ruben, Poyo, Shalex, Jin, what are we doing? So they're just molten metal on the anvil now? There is molten metal that is slowly pouring from like a gap in space in front of you that is pouring onto this anvil. I'm just gonna try and punch in this crystal. Are you guys okay with that? Cool. Uh, go ahead and roll an unarmed strike. No, no, I went with the knuckles. Okay, yeah, go ahead and roll with the knuckles then. Yeah. <laughs> I think I hit that. That's it. Ding dong! Uh, the first strike sends cracks shooting through the crystal. The second one, the crystal boosh, shatters. Did I win? Well, that crystal's gone now. Cool. Okay. Uh, so how bolted down does this anvil look? Uh, it seems very attached to the stone there. Uh, especially with the two crystals there seem to both be attached to the stone and to the anvil. Are you saying if I drop kicked the anvil, nothing would happen? Uh, you, you would fall. Foot. You would fall and break your foot. I... No. <laughs> okay, how breakable do the uh, crystals look? Like, the glowing things? You can certainly try. I wanna hit Poyo it. Poyo just broke one, so... Wait, I thought Poyo broke, like, the big one. Yeah, the big, the big one. Yeah. So I can broke... Oh, it would be even easier to break the tiny one. <laughs> the tiny one. <laughs> the tiny, tiny one. Alright, I'm gonna take a swing with my... Sure, why not? My dragon swords. Alright. Go I ahead have. and roll one attack. A sneak attack? No. Damn it. <laughs> Did you sneak attack on an <laughs> Unfortunately, sneaking up on an object doesn't make it more breakable. Damn, you sure? Unlike a person. Have you seen Poi Story? Have you seen how well I am at sneaking? Yeah, he's very good at sneaking. Yeah. Nothing goes so, out of his head. It's yeah, like uh, swinging down, um, eight is not enough to break it, uh, but you definitely, like, crack that one. You can swing with your offhand with a bonus action if you'd like. Swing! <laughs> yep. Uh, the extra four damage will definitely do it. So you shatter this one crystal there. Alright, Shalak, now it's your turn to get the other one. Shalak steps back through the portal. <laughs> Wait, no! 
that we're supposed to be a team. Yeah. All right, I'll get the other one then. Fish. How does it feel to be over there not helping a friend? And then. Oh, I'm scared. Wait. Felix is going to take their bow and line up and try to shoot the crystal there. Cough, please don't break shit before the, the it resets. <laughs> it's a little too late for that. That will actually not hit. Second attack, though. <laughs> that will also not hit. My dice Dear hate Lord. me. Where's that negative three coming from? Uh, sharpshooter. Oh. Yeah, Shalik just looks at you and says, Uh, sorry, I usually am better at this. But that'll oh, be Shalix. Um, Jin, that's you done. Uh, Ruben and Poyo. No, Poyo already hit the crystal. Ruben? Me. Alright, I'm gonna... Think head over here. Flying and across. I'm gonna take a swing at the... Actually, what is this, like, spiral thingy here? The... this? Mm-hmm. That's a staircase. Okay. Mm. I will... beat it over the head. You need to take out With your axe me. and try to whack it? Yeah, but I'll do, uh... I'll do a double hand one. Do I still get two attacks with double hand, or just one? No, you still get two attacks. Alright. A boink. <sighs> the and... first swing connects, ricochets off. No damage apparent on the crystal. And a boink. Ching! Ricochets off again. You fucker. Hey, there's a trucker. See? Oh, on his dick. Seems like each of these crystals might have a different method to destroy it. That's stupid. Stupid. <laughs> so that's action and movement from you, Ruben. Do you have a bonus action? Um. I'm going to. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Round eight, this crystal fires directly at the anvil. Uh, it's a very strikingly cold beam. Jin, I need you to go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Once again, DC 22. What if I just succeed? Damn it. <laughs> Someone else is getting blasted. And I thought a blam. You take 72 points of cold damage as this frigid beam hits the molten metal on this anvil and freezes it into the last thing you see as your consciousness fades is sorry. a mm -hmm. row of four, um... You're okay. not seventh level. Yeah, I am. Yeah? yeah we are. Oh shit, yeah we are, never mind. <laughs> 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 the just, the indignation of, no, why are you avoiding being blasted? Join me! So yeah. You stabbed me, you actually killed me. You don't know that. You were unconscious when I did so it. So you still take 36 points of damage. Well, it's a good thing that's my max hit points. Uh, okay. So the last thing you see is your consciousness fades. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last thing you see as your consciousness fades is the beam kind of 
freezing this metal and organizing it into a stack of what you see is six ingots here. Um, stacked like a row of four and then a row of two on top. Perfect. And then your consciousness fades and you see a the frozen body of Jin slowly drifting away. So, Poyo, Ruben, Shaw, Poyo and Ruben, you guys have actions? Alright, someone, someone stab me so it comes full circle now. <laughs> uh, sure, Shaw looks no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, Shalex is gonna stop using Tarp Shooter and just, uh, shoot one more time at the... Well, actually... Hold on. I'll let you guys act first. I'll have Shalex go last. Poyo and Ruben. Oh, that horse. First. I'm Do it. getting something to drink. Man, I kind of wish I didn't get that this up. I should have just stick with my this up. Man. Great. I am regretting that. I can't really cast flying. You could, but it would just be considered I mean, cheating. If we're, if we're Oh, wouldn't we be? Okay. Ow. Yeah? I, I think I did my work, so I think it's time to be crazy. Don't you think? I like crazy. Okay. Okay. Let me fucking reread this so I don't fuck it up, I guess. But... Throw it in chat. No, ha ha. I'm thinking how I'm working. He's using his words. Oh god, he's gonna oh, use god. a word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, pass four step with word and uh. Yeah, that's. I mean, if I survive it. Because I'm gonna. We're literally gonna reset in a, like in a couple of rounds, so. Hypothetically. Just hypothetically. So, uh. Little you could just be no, dead. You broke the reset crystal. Well, where <laughs> did I actually? We're about I to don't find know. Out. We're about to find out. Well, well half of the fucking party's gonna die out. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be Ruben. TPK! TPK! <laughs> TPK! <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, I... Okay. Okay, and, uh... In a plane far, far away? It, Tyler, you might have I actually... Far, I cast far step? Does that count as a story? No. Fuck. Shit, Tyler. Tyler, you might have actually broken the reset one, because that's the only one that hasn't actually done anything yet. That's the one that hasn't done anything yet. Tyler, Your story. What did you do? <laughs> I I have an idea of story, and the story is, this was all a dream. We reset. You walk in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you walk in, and we're all holding a piece of the ore, and we're like, cool. Time to go into the machine. That that is story. <laughs> I'm actually fucking worried. I might have fucking fucker. Got me thinking. TPK. TPK. Okay. I know Poyo's 
destructive and shit, but uh, should 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 we be be destroying the crystal? Like, Wasn't that the whole entire point of us being here? Was it? I thought it was just to get the. I thought it was, I thought we were breaking something. Oh yeah, you're dead. Shut up. Or not Tell you. Again, Jin, you're dead. Shut up. You're dead. Shut up. You're dead. Shut up. Technically, dead. Shut up. technically oh. Jin is only dying. I'll kill him. My ghost will kill him. I'll kill him. I'll, I'll, I'll get him. I back quickly, bro. I'll fucking one, one, fucking one giant ass quake and whoosh. I definitely had the range for that. Wait, hold on. Let me. Let me. I'm sorry. Uh. In a plane far, far away, a, a man. A man of great attitude. What are you doing? Transverse great distance. And fucking wanted to transverse great distance and I got just feels in the head wish through the plane I'm sorry Tyler but just <laughs> listening to you try and type this out it's so fucking funny <laughs> I feel like I'm inside Tyler's head why is it so empty <laughs> from the Lego movie. <laughs> oh god, he stopped typing. I fucking, um... Hello, what the hell are you doing? I'm thinking, shut up. <laughs> You're dead. I'm, I'm genuinely that scared right now. Through the power of friendship and got all his friends saved and alive. You writing like a light novel over there? Jesus. That's the fucking story. Let me cast four steps so I can break another In a plane far, far away, a man of great attitude wanted a transverse great distance and got his wish through the power of friendship and got his, all his friends saved and alive. Go ahead and roll your check. Yes. Okay, but like, the alive is past tense, so that means we aren't alive. No, like, he alived you. Oh, yeah. he alived me. I alived you. Or rather, the uh, man of great attitude in this plane far, far away alived his friends. Wait, is Poyo the man with great attitudes? We're yeah. about to find out. We're going to see if he can uh, get his wish through the power of friendship. Power of friendship, let's go. I failed. I'm pretty sure that's a... Because it's level 5, isn't it? Far step is, in fact, a 5th level spell. Fuck. So why don't you go ahead? Why don't we uh, go ahead and throw the word in chat so that we can uh, know how by how much you failed, so we know how much damage you take. Eleven plus twice the spell's level, so the DC is twenty-one for far step. Yep. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have changed my proficiency for saving throws. If you fail by five or more, you take 1d6 necrotic damage for each point below the DC you rolled. So, yeah, 21 minus 13 is 8. 8d6 necrotic damage. You take 26 points of necrotic damage as your story collapses in on itself and burns a hole straight through your abdomen. Oh, yo, are you okay over there? I think I, think I had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore, guys. <laughs> Ruben's about to start crying. So what's so what's Ruben doing other than crying? Uh, who's still alive? <laughs> uh, Jin is dying. Eterna is dead. Poyo just took a huge hit. Shalex and you are fine. No, Shalex ha has like cracked a back. Damn it. 
You're the only person at full health. I don't know what the fuck to do, guys. I don't. We're not uh... breaking shit so we can resurrect. Rick, <laughs> don't. Like... No. Okay, I, I have like the devil and the angel on my shoulder, but it's realistically two devils. Which one do I listen to? Do you want somehow... all of us to die? Because like, since I actually like this character, right, I might leave the... the campaign if she's dead. So, right. what would you like me to do? Death. Don't break shit so that it can reset. So what's my other option? Wait, Fight I Shalux can't... if they try to break shit. Fight Poyo if he tries to break shit. Well, what if it's all? What if it's already broken? Poyo, Poyo already broke his, dude. I, I'm, I'm sitting here just having a show. Just wait to see what happens. It hasn't been a full minute yet. Uh, guys, guys, I'm actually, guys, I'm scared. We actually broke. What? You killed a turn I rolled a medicine we check with a nat one. What more do you want from me? If you had How reached into my to bag, that? I had a potion of vitality. That doesn't How actually give healing. That doesn't Done. heal? No, it just uh, cures like exhaustion and shit. Well, I think a turn is pretty exhausted right now. <laughs> um, on my jacket, I have four potions of healing. How was I supposed to know that, huh? Got him. Investigate. Listen, I, it was a traumatizing experience. I was on the edge. <laughs> oh, uh, one then you stabbed me. Jordan. Ruben, what are you doing? <laughs> um, hey, Shalex. <laughs> yeah? Can you not touch anything? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Corpse, like, no, what, unconscious body just lying, <laughs> just just lying in the fast. background. <laughs> frozen, in a so frozen in a okay. solid block of ice a la <laughs> Scrat from Ice Age. <laughs> Alright, Shalex, how about this? You wait, like, 30 more seconds to touch stuff. I'm gonna get the twist time. And Shalex is actually going to leap off of this platform to try to, like, Try to grab some of the whist time that just formed. Oh, do I? I thought I ha I thought they had whist on them. Oh, uh, a piece of whist or yeah, but there was just ingots that just were formed here by the same uh, ray that zonked uh, Jin. Yeah, it was really funny. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, Shalex misses entirely. Shalex actually goes over here. And is just now like floating through space. Help! <laughs> Ruben just face palms. Fucking just sit down and just like. Dude, look, I, guys. Look, guys, who uh, gave us right, responsibilities? Right. Shalex, I've got two options. I could either save you or just sit my happy ass right here and not move. Because this is getting a little too scary for my liking. So, I think I'm going to go with the second option. And he just kind of sits down. <laughs> is that going to be everything for you? Yep. <laughs> Alright. Round nine. Um, as these ingots have formed here. Uh, you watch as this crystal here is broken. But this crystal is still active. And it kind of highlights them with, like, a small beam of light and starts lifting them up. Um, and you watch as this crystal begins to charge. Um, and you see the runes around this crystal begin to charge. Um, and then fizzle out as the crystal is no longer there. <laughs> Shalex can't do anything. They are just floating. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna fly over here and try and grab the ingots real quick. And not Shalex. 
donkeys to show oh. up to us right now. I'll, 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 I'll get them in a second. So I want to grab the ingots, and then if I action dash, will I have another 60 feet? Um, I'm going to say to grab the ingots. Yeah, you can grab them. How many do you grab out of the six? I'd say you can grab one or two, because these are decently sized ingots. You can really only fit one in a hand. I will grab uh, two. All right, so you put your battle axe away as you're flying over. Reach down, grab one in each hand. Um, and then you're gonna action dash over to here. Yeah, over to where Shalex is to see if they can try and grab onto me or anything. Shalex is I'm desperately trying like trying to grab onto you. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I'll try and like lift out my leg so they can grab it. Shalex claws to your leg like a fucking six-year-old in a scary crowd. Just grabs on for dear life. Uh, you actually kind of feel yourself like spun around from Shalex's momentum a little bit. Jesus. Um, so that's you, Ruben. Uh, Shalex is not doing anything else. Poyo? Sit down for a bit. That, that really hurt. Uh, Good idea. Uh, so that ends the round. Yep. Um, this crystal fires off, and you watch as the ingots, the four ingots that are remaining, whoosh, disappear. Shit. Um, and. This dais, this kind of pillar in the uh, spiral staircase here, begins to sort of spin a little bit. The, stair the staircase itself isn't spinning, but kind of like the pillar in the middle begins to like rotate. And you can hear the grinding of stone. That does not sound good. Oh, yo, anything? I... No. Ruben, anything? I will drop off... Shalix at the platform. Or they can come with, I guess, if they want. Shalix um... just kind of, like, lands and is like, I'm gonna stay on land for a little bit. I want to uh, toss the other ingot, or put on the put the other ingot onto Eterna, or like put it in her pocket somewhere. Okay. So I have one, and she has one. Is that everything? Yes, sir. A beam of pure, bright, purple light kind of spews out from both the top of this pillar and from the bottom underneath this, like, floating rock and fills the sphere and everything <sighs> You can all go ahead and reset your hit points. Those of you who were dead, you are now back alive. Groundhog's Day. Dear Lord. Oh, hey, we're back. Do does our abilities go back? Yep. All of your abilities, all of your hit points. Um, Poyo, you are once again able to receive the um, the uh, boost from Ruben if Ruben wants to give it to you again. Uh, that, oh, going, that going. resets. Oh, yeah. I don't have <laughs> back into the box. Anymore. The box opens. This stone is still here. Um. And you all no longer have these um, pieces of uh, Wistine ore in your pockets. The ingots are also gone. Fuck. Seems like we're gonna need to run this. Alright. Okay, uh, plan. Back to round uh, one. Uh, do I have my, uh, my rope? Uh, yes, you do. Okay. Or er, no, rope would be an item. So, 
uh, the rope would have just dis disappeared entirely because it was used oh. over here. I thought Jin, like, took it. Yeah, Jin hey, took Alan. it off and, like, uh, used it there. Jin never, like, went to untie it and, like, grab it. Oh. Well, it's just gone now? Yeah. Oh. Modded Minecraft. Oh, my shit is gone. Is this crystal The crystal is here? back, yes. Okay. Okay, Yo. so, basically, we need to speedrun this. And... Alright, so... Okay. The one... I... So is the chunk of board. Okay. Guys. Uh, I still have I'm gonna to go ahead... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's take a five to ten minute break. I'm gonna let you guys... Um... Think process talk to each other uh i will be back do i still have fly alan uh yes you yeah, do still have fly because you had board. fly before you entered okay actually you have an infinite fly technically cause yeah you have you minutes. you you have infinite fly basically because it will constantly reset you to when you still had fly cool. okay so this will constantly okay. reset so we want to stop this machine after it makes the Wistine like ingots, right? Yeah. So okay, well, I'll be back. You need to do that under a minute. So what specifically made it reset? Do we find that out? Uh, oh, right. The... All the crystals. Well, no, just the around, the like <laughs> when that pillar started spewing purple stuff. That's when we basically reset. What pillar? That one by the staircase? Yeah, this one. Okay, so theoretically, so I can go over there, disarm it, or do whatever, so we just don't reset. Mm. I mean... But do we trust ourselves to get this done first try? Of course. It went perfectly the last time, right? <laughs> uh huh. Hey, did, didn't you try to do some... Well, what happened there, by the way? I was... Wait, oh, wait, it was called a tracheotomy. Why am I talking these... Wait, Jen, what did you do? Uh, I, tr I tried to perform a tracheotomy on... Uh, No, I... No, wait. I tried to perform CPR on you. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna bad. punch you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I tried to perform open heart surgery. Uh, I I punch you for a, I don't know, two, two I guess yeah, because hands are unarmed and unarmed is D four, right? Unarmed is just a D twenty plus strength. It's just a strength I check. A uh, it's just a strength check. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna punch you. Well, that misses. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't like me today. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna punch Jin. Don't you worry. What? Streak. I technically didn't do anything wrong because we all went backwards in time. I missed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I technically did nothing wrong. <laughs> you mentally though. You meant I I vote we all just. Gang up on Jin. Okay. Kick him off the rock. Kick him off the rock. Just gonna keep you floating out. Yes. <laughs> we're just gonna like take your tail and like tie it around one of the chains. Wait. So we're technically in the machine right now. Just push me off, like out of the machine. <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Where the fuck is the portal? Yeah. Where do we come from? Where do we go? Here. How, we how do we get in here? How do we get out? Uh... But is the portal still there that we came from? I think from? we just have to break out. But from where? Out to where? Aren't we in the box? The no. box is going to open. Maybe if we break all the crystals, it'll do something. Maybe if we just all right, stop I'm trying. When we complete our mission or whatever. Um, we, we rolled like... to uh, beat the shit out of Jin. Yeah, um, I, I I see that. <laughs> I see that uh, with a nat twenty, Jin was in fact the shit beat out of. Good job. I didn't do anything wrong because we went back in time. So 
I don't know why you're doing this. Booyah. <laughs> yeah, technically Jin's, technically Jin's actions had no consequences. I'm no, giving him consequences. No. I don't I like just have mental trauma. Right now. But yeah, oh, you guys did... are all in the box. The box is currently open. Did the portal we come through, like, disappear or something? Oh, yeah, no, you uh, didn't go through a portal. You were just teleported. So you arrived then, here. What? Then how the hell do we leave? You know, that would have been a great question to um, ask Theodrata before she left. It would have been a great question for her to tell us. I could have sworn that he said... You get the sense, based on Theodrata's kind of, like, chaotic attitude of having just met you guys and immediately trusted her life with you, um, on this ridiculous half-baked idea. You get the sense Theodrata isn't necessarily all there. Yeah. I don't think we are either. <laughs> um, oh, I think you're- I think you're onto something, Jordan. But I want- I want to go to the main island. Alright, uh, so at the start of round one, um... Yeah, round one, this crystal is not charging yet. We'll probably get a, you know, get get the thing that is, you know, get the or whatever first. Yeah. yeah. So you want to go up to here? Yes. Okay, go ahead and roll an athletics check as you kind of, like, you have the chain to help you get there, but it's not uh, big so enough that's to walk along. So a net 20. Um... Go. Yeah, so you get there, no problem. Uh, you still have five feet of movement left. Uh, I'm going to walk five feet this way. That was closer to ten feet. I fucking there's not a grid. I don't know. Yeah, that's why you uh, hold left click and drag, and then you can right click, and it measures out. That's too much. You see, it doesn't do that since I don't have a mouse, or I don't. I'm not using it right now. Ah. Well, Loser. then you've handicapped yourself. My life is a handicap, thank you. You're welcome. Is that why you're parked um, in the blue spaces? The blue spaces? What? Handicap parking. Yeah, but um, I don't park in handicap parking. I know. Not now. What? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, fuck you right now. I have faculty parking, so I can park whatever the hell I damn want. Uh... Jokes on you. But, oh, um. God, but hey, y'all, I have cool. an idea. Because you said something about getting the Withstein. Um, but you also said something about the column thing by the staircase. So I'm gonna mess with that. Y'all get whatever the fuck Withstein. Don't mess with the rock. You will die. Yeah, let the rock explode. Don't go near the rock. Let the rock explode. I guess that's what happened. Uh, yeah, is that why you're floating in? Is that what that the sound was? No, that was a different thing. No. So do we all want to take a crystal then and try and work on it? You get the ingot first. Well, we should know what each crystal does first. So the very top one destroys the thing right here, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And we never figured out what the bottom right one does because someone broke it. You told me I you gave me permission, Jen. I I feel like ahead. okay, okay, okay. You I feel like if I ahead, didn't give Jen. you permission, you would still do it. Yes, I would, but that's not the so point. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> you still you're still a part of this. Hey, if we're waiting to see, like, if we're waiting for that to blow up, uh, yes. I'm gonna head over here. Anyone wants to hop on my back? I'm still on your back, Ruben. Yeah, you oh. started in on the on the back. Oh yeah. We did we did grab a crystal, right? Not a crystal, but uh. I think None I'm... of you currently have any with time. Damn it. Well, cause, Cause we have to wait for this thing to blow up first. Yeah. 
I thought we so, could grab it. So I was gonna head over here yeah, and yeah. wait. Actually, I can just use mage hand then. Some shit. So you could grab it from here. So like. Oh, yes. Yeah. So yeah, Ruben, you wanna head over there? Yes, sir. Quick, Koyu is coming with you. Yep. Okay. So like, uh, what happens if we don't have Westine on us when it resets? Uh, you won't reset. You'll just stay where you, we are? You'll just stay wherever the hell you were. So, so we won't be in the loop anymore. Uh, you will be in the loop, but you won't reset. The same way, like, these crystals and, um, like, stuff like that doesn't necessarily reset. Um, the exceptions are, or I would, I should say the islands don't necessarily reset. Everything that you saw reset was these crystals, all four of the main ones, the two ones on either side of the anvil here, uh, the pillar, the box, and the chains connected to the box. Okay. What are these like blue things up here then? You don't know yet. But I asked you nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you said please there, Jordan. Well, that's good. I didn't say please. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. You gonna say please? No, I'm just gonna go over there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, DM. I'll find out myself. Hey, DM, <laughs> can I go find out myself? Can I please go over there? Uh, yeah, roll an athletics check to make the double jump there. That's the floor ticks. 14. Yeah, that's enough. Oh. No, jumping is easier in the uh, kind of oddly gravitational environment that you're in. Uh, I like jumping. Jumping cool. It's jumping cool. So yeah, uh, what do you do while you're over there? I'm gonna look at what this thing is. Alright, um, looking at it, the way these crystals and rocks are aligned, the sort of triangle in between these three th uh, floating crystals almost seems translucent. Like the air is kind of misty. And like there's purple mist all around you, obviously. But like you can't really see. It's almost like there's an object there, but there isn't. Just in the pain defined by where these three crystals are. I touch it? Uh, you reach out to touch it and your hand goes straight through. You feel a blisteringly cold wind on the other side. On the other side? Like, as I pass through it? As your hand passes through the, uh, triangle defined by these three crystals, you can't see where your hand goes, and you feel a blistering cold wind. Like, not enough to do damage, though, right? Not enough to do damage, but it's like, ooh, man, who turned on the air conditioning? Like, when you so, leave the AC on, like, way too long. Or do you turn the AC on in winter? That's what it feels so like. So, my hand went through, but I didn't see it go, like, on the other, other, on the other side. You didn't see... So, you can't see through this triangle um, in between the crystals. And when you put your hand there, your hand, like, the piece of your hand seemed to disappear, and you felt a cold wind. Wherever so if I was. theoretically put my head through it and looked on the other side, are you going? To, would you like to do that as your action? I think I would. Okay. Um, you stick your head through, and you see a expansive sky around you. Um, huh. The purple sphere. You kind of look around the purple sphere that you were in nowhere to be found you find yourself um looking down you're in like above a sort of courtyard on a floating island 
in the midst of a astonishingly beautiful cloud palace. You get the sense that you have put your head through the gate and are gazing at the esteemed grounds of Sanel the Light. Alright, I'm gonna put my head back and I'm just gonna call out, uh, I think I found the palace grounds of the light guy, genie guy. Cool. Or what, whatever that's worth. Didn't we want to stay away from him? Well, okay. Just so we know it's there, okay? Yeah. Come on, Ruben. We're just learning. We gotta, we gotta know where the big ass spider is first. So we, can we gotta know where the enemies are coming from when they get here. <laughs> when they get here. I think Shalix is the only one that hasn't done something for round one. Um, yeah, I think Shalix is... Well, technically, Poyo hasn't acted either. Got him. Oh. Uh, but I think Shalix is going to follow you up here. I think Shalix wants to get a closer look at Crystal One. Athletics to move. Boink. That's enough. And then action dash. Uh, yeah, with the 11, that's fine. So they are able to get up there. Uh, and they will be taking a closer look next round. Uh, Poyo, anything? I guess I already an action to Mace Hand. When, uh... <laughs> I mean, that's probably not going to happen for another couple of rounds, right? When the thing explodes, that one? It happens after the second round, in between the third. Yeah, start of the third. Yeah. Is what you remember. So next round, I think that's that point. But, uh... In the meantime, I guess, uh... Um... Yeah, I got nothing. I've, I've had my turn. Okay. Just an awe. The start of round two, you guys can see this crystal up here beginning to charge up. The lights within this crystal are spinning. Alright, everyone get ready to catch a Wistine if it blows over to you. Oh, yo, get me one, please. Yep. Wait, doesn't it just like stop and like go into a bubble or something around here? Uh, no, it's in the bubble that you guys are in. So you guys, all of this is happening on the inside of a sphere of this, like, the purple mist that you guys see. You're all, in like, in a sphere. You're all in a bubble. We're all in a pocket dimension. Yeah. Basically. And so you saw that the whist time was, like, bouncing off of the inside of this pocket dimension. So does anyone want to move anywhere, do anything? I um, want to go to the uh, staircase, up the staircase. I'll hold my action to try and catch one of the whist time. Okay. Can I hold my action to get a mage hand to get two? Try to uh, fit. Can I try to? You can try to catch one with your mage hand and one with yourself. Okay. Uh, Ruben, would you also like to try to catch one? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, party bonding. Gotta love it. Um. Shalex is going to 
kind of carefully and gingerly make their way around to the other side of this crystal to try to be away from, like, the side that it's going to fire from. Uh, and it's going to roll an Arcana check. See what they can figure out. Theoretically, if Charlotte's put their hand like on the crystal where it's going to shoot and like hold out their other hand, like the redirecting lightning, what, what couldn't they like... redirect the beam? Yeah. Uh, no, they would just die. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey. You guys know this about Shalex. Shalex is not fully translucent. You can't see through Shalex. That's only maybe about half an inch deep in their skin. What about like a like a fingertip though? And you've seen Shalex bleed. You can kind of see through like the fingertips and through like the hands a little bit. There you um, go. But like you've seen Shalex bleed. Um. I don't know if Shalex has been, like, grievously injured in front of you guys yet. But, like, through the medicine checks, um, through your time with Shalex, you know that Shalex's body functions, at least internally, very similar to a human's or a tiefling's. It's all a lot of the same physiology. Cool. So yeah, with a 19, Shalex uh, kind of calls out, uh, this one needs magical damage um, from a weapon, a magical weapon. Magical weapon? That'll, that'll destroy it. Well, I could maybe help with that if I roll correctly. What, are you thinking of throwing it? Uh... Well, no, I'd probably walk over, well, fly over and hit it, but if I, one of my wild magic, I believe, does something, give me a second. Yeah, um, yeah you, for magic infuses one weapon of your choice that you are holding until the end of the rage, the weapon's damage type changes to force and it gains the light and throne properties, so... If I can roll correctly, I can maybe do it. Maybe. Maybe. So, Eterna, you said you were heading over to the staircase? Yep. You are capable of... Let's see here. That is 30 feet-ish. Do you want to action dash? Yeah. Action dash up to the the middle boy. Alright, so you are on the lower floor, not the upper floor. You, it's like, in order to get all the way up, um, you would have to... I feel like my speed's actually 35, and that may have just been from exhaustion? I don't know. I... I don't know, that just doesn't feel right. You do have this, by the way. Oh, wait, no, their base walking speed is 30 feet. You do have that ability that I threw in the chat, if you'd like. Yes. I, I want to do that and get up to the top. That'll definitely get you there. Oh wait, I don't want to go all the way to the crystal. I just want to like mess with like the the, the spinny bi spiral column. The pillar. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you did action dash. Um, yeah. So I'm done this round. You're done with this round. Everyone else is. Let's see. Jin's action. holding an action to catch. No, nah, I'm gonna go up here and uh, ready, mage hand. Mage hand takes an action. You action dashed. Then never mind. <sighs> Same. Same. Blame. 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 No, you. 
All right. So, is that the end of that round? Going no. Once. Has Ruben and Poyo done anything? Poyo is holding an action with Mage Hand and Regular to try to catch two pieces of Wistein. Ruben's holding an action to catch a piece of Wistein. Jin's holding an action to catch a piece of Wistein. Shalax invested, investigated the crystal up top. Uh, you action dashed. Oh, okay. End of the round. That same laser of magical force from the uppermost crystal uh, strikes the stone here, causing pieces of it to fly in all directions. Um, Poyo, go ahead and roll a charisma check and a acrobatics check. Um, okay, cool. Ruben, acrobatics. Jin, acrobatics. To catch a piece. Fuck. Nice. Alright, so Poyo, Jin, Ruben, you each catch one piece. Uh, Poyo, you catch it with your mage hand, but you completely whiff with your real hands. Yeah, that's fair. You I'm just, like, instinctively you. put your hands up to shield your face. Um, can I just cast Mage Hand and try and grab one of the floating pieces? Uh, sure. Roll a intelligence check. Intelligence is my best step. Uh, intelligence. That's going to be a 23. Uh, yeah, you easily grab one and pull it towards yourself. That'll be your action. Neat. After I, I like, get it and, like, put it in my pocket, I go back to the pillar boy. Okay. Um, Shalex is also going to try to, like, reach out and catch a piece of ore for themselves. Uh, do they have any spells that would make this easier? Um... Not really. Acrobatics. Yeah, that's plenty. Uh, so now each of you has a piece of ore. Uh, you guys can see the uh, second crystal down here charging up. Bottom left one? Which one? This one down here. Crystal two. You guys can see the um, all of the labels on all of the crystals. I gave numbers for them. Uh, the one that used to be labeled three, the label disappeared. Never mind. There back. we go. Oh dear lord, you did label them, but it's extremely hard to read for me. Well, yeah, no, it's hard to see because the blue and green. The blue and green, yeah. Here, let me. There you go. Let me get some contrast oh, going. Oh, I can see that. I can see the two. The red is scary. Oh no. All right, cool. Cool. Okay, you guys can see crystal two charging up. Um, as the uh, smaller crystals are beginning to track the pieces of Wistine, all floating around. What are you doing? Uh, we figured out the one, uh, the top one is magical. The bottom right one, three, is bludgeoning. Um, I'll go to, I'll try to go to number four and see which one that one needs to destroy. That's a hefty jump that's going to require an action dash to get there. Um, yeah, I can and, an ac and an athletics check. Well, multiple jumps. Hop, skip, jump. That's still going to take an action dash. Uh, to get there this turn, I should say. Yes, sir. Well, what bonus action? Yeah. That's fine. Yes, sir. We need oh, acrobatics, athletics. 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 27. Did, did uh, number two already do something, or is it still charging? It's up? charging. It's charging. 
Okay, so I don't want to touch that. So with the 27, yeah, that'll be enough. Doink. Aha. I shall use brain power to see what this does and what it needs to be destroyed. Arcana check. The jaw. Uh, I'm big brain. You're really not... It doesn't seem to be vulnerable to any kind of physical attack, whether the attack is enchanted or not. Okay. You're a 12. Thanks, man. You're welcome, pal. So there's your action. Um, Shalex is going to... Try to leap over to the box. Shalex is going to go fly, tumbling through space again. Um, let's see. Eterna of Ruben, Poyo. Hello. Uh, I want to wait until the crystal 2 is done charging up because I don't want to touch it, but we need to figure out what it does and how to destroy it. I thought I already did my action. Uh, what was your action? Mage hand, grab the boy, put it in my pocket, and then walk down the stairs. Right, okay. Well, in that case, Shalik already did uh, their action too. So that never happened. Uh, Ruben, Poyo. Ruben, you said you're just going to hang out and wait? Yeah. Okay, Poyo? I guess I'll hang out and wait. Alright. Moving on, a burst of light from uh, Crystal 2 here heads out to all of the smaller crystals in the area um, that each kind of like tractor beam onto a piece of Wistine. Um, and all of the pieces of Wistine, poof, and appear back into the box here. Kind of floating gently there. <clears throat> Inside the box. Um, I want to, I guess, investigate. I want to figure out what's going on with the pillar thing and, like, how it works. Watch what it does. Okay, uh, that would be an Arcana check. All right. Now Shalex is going to try to jump and go tumbling through space. That's uh, going to be a fourteen. Fourteen. Um. I mean, based on what you saw, this is what this is the temporal engine. Um. I mean, I didn't see shit, but. But based on what the party saw. Yeah. Based on what y'all saw, this seems to be the temporal engine at the core of this, um, creation. You... But do I get any insight on, like, You have how... no idea how it works? Um... <laughs> You're really not sure. There's, like, rings of runes spiraling down the outside of this, uh, six-sided pillar. But you're just... Can I read or understand any of them? Uh, they're definitely... They're definitively arcane runes of some kind. You aren't familiar with any, like, language or any ability to read them. No. Not on a 12. Or on a 14, you said? Yeah, 14. 14 is not high enough to understand even a lick of 10th level magic. Um, can I pull out a little, uh, like, journal or, like, piece of paper and, like, kind of, like, write down, like... You want to start copying like... down the runes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. You start trying to copy them down. Yep. It's 
difficult. You're not even through one rune by the time we get done with this round. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can certainly do your best to copy those down. Jin, Ruben, Poyo. Hello. As oh. Shalex is currently tumbling through space. Is this still charging up? Uh, no, that did its thing. Okay. okay let's go over there, then. So what did the second one do? Did it put the things in the box? Uh, yeah, so the second one sent out a burst of energy to all of the small crystals. Um, on all of the islands. And the witch had been, like, laser tracking where each piece was bouncing around. Um, with the exception of the chain crystals over here, I should say, uh, those were not involved in this. But, like, all of the smaller crystals on this island, this island, and this island were each, like, tracking a chunk of the Wistine ore. Um, and the second crystal sent out a burst of energy to those crystals, which kind of, like, teleported all of the chunks of Wistine ore into the box. So all of the chunks of Wistine ore are now in here, except for the ones that weren't able to be tracked, which are the ones that you guys all have in your pockets. Okay, I wanna head over here. You're gonna head over there? All right, uh, Poyo, I assume you're going with? Yep. Okay. And you wanna try to figure out this particular crystal? Yes, sir. Roll an Arcana check. A blink. Uh, Nine. I mean, the setting looks, like, loose enough you could pry the crystal out of it, maybe, but you're really not sure how to destroy the crystal itself. Well, and if the setting is enchanted, that you definitely won't be able to remove the crystal without an enormous effort. Hey, Polio, you wanna, you wanna try? You wanna I mean, give a we'll shot? I mean, Ruben off and, and set it on fire. I create, bon I create bonfire immediately. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you trying to do with this? I'm trying to set it on fire. Trying to set it the crystal is. itself on fire? Yeah. Alright, you try to place the uh, bonfire there. And it kind of like sputters out for a second and then the energy is absorbed into the crystal. Go again. Hey, Ruben. Yeah. Smash. All right. Oh, uh, your Arcana check was an action. Oh. Fuck later. <laughs> so, uh, Jin. I. Um. Man, I don't really know what to do, to be honest. I think you should stab it. You can certainly roll another Arcana check if you'd like. I certainly will. Why not? Sure. A chew. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, this particular crystal seems to be need seems to need to be hit by some kind of damaging spell. Um, as opposed to crystal one. Uh, needs to be hit by some form of magical weapon in order to shatter. The weakness here at Crystal 4 uh, has to be some form of damaging spell cast at it. Alright, I'll say that out loud. It needs uh, to be done damaged by magic. That will work. As Shalex is just like tumbling through the space past you. I'm just going to keep copying down the runes. Okay. Uh, then that's everyone. 
Um, at the start of round five, you notice uh, Crystal Four here starts charging up. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can jump over to this portal and try to get over to the anvil. Okay. Um, do you want to try to grab Shalex on your way? Sure, why not? Okay, roll a just athletics just, check. Just like convenience right there. Do I five? Yeah, uh, you grab Shalex and both of you swing through the portal. <gasps> All right. Um, so that was 35 feet of movement there, we'll say. Yeah. Uh, are the Wistine pieces in the box right now? Yes, the Wistine pieces are currently in the box. So I don't want to go through this portal right now, so I'll just... I'll just stay right here. <laughs> Shalix thanks you for your service in, like, collecting them. Um, You're welcome. It's going to go up to there and back down through here. Climb up to there. It's going to call out, Do we want to break this crystal down here again? I think we should see what it does first, because I don't think we saw that last time. I'm not sorry. Okay. Um, let's see. Ruben and Poyo, I believe you guys still need to act here. Yeah, I'm gonna smash it. Roll an attack with your battle axe. Smash! Uh, oink. You swing down, and your battle axe just glances off the side of the crystal. Absolutely no damage. Uh, it was a solid impact, too. Like, you felt that. That should have cut it in half, and it just bounced off. <laughs> um, can, uh, am I able to activate my rage? Sure. Okay. Uh, boink. Let me fucking roll a d8. Five, which is not the one I need, but a boink. Whenever a creature hits you with an attack before your rage ends, that creature takes 1d6 force damage. Yeah, not useful at all. No. But you watch as your uh, Ruben is suddenly kind of like uh, has this sort of like almost purplish aura that almost blends in with the backdrop here. Um, of just this angry, crackling, arcane force energy around him. Been work. Your turn, Poyo. I get one of my spikes and I try to uh, just stab it. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll an attack. Again, solid impact. That definitely, that hit it like point first. Uh, if that was wood, that would have embedded. If it was, like, stone, it probably would have embedded still anyways. Like, that was a solid hit. If that had been a person, that person would be impaled. Your spike just breaks off. No damage, no effect, not even a scratch on the crystal. It does not seem to respond to non-magical weapon attacks. I would give you a magical weapon, but I like having my sight. <laughs> Can two of them be the same thing? Hmm. 
So, is that going to end the round for everybody? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Going on to round six. Crystal four here fires off that same beam of white hot energy uh, that just melts the entire box and, like, the chains connecting the box to the islands and a small portal forms that starts to pour this molten wistine out onto the anvil. Um, what percentage would you say of runes have I written down? Uh, you have completed a rune and a half. A out of the literal hundreds on this pillar. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, uh, copying, to... copying this whole thing down would probably be like an hour and a half's worth of work. Hey guys, we're on a loop, right? We can just, we can do this. <laughs> you could. Do you um, want to? I'm... I mean, I don't want to take the out of play time to do that. I mean, but if I we mean... all just sit like in a circle and just all do it. <laughs> I mean, in play, absolutely, but like, I don't want to take the out of play time to do that. The question is, would everyone else allow you to take the out of play time, to do, or to take the in play time to do that? Listen, I'm perfectly fine with uh, seeing campfire songs around the pillar and just writing down some glyphs or something. Everyone wants to get the fuck out. <laughs> I want to break every single fucking crystal. Yeah. Didn't about it. Shalex is kind of in the same boat um, as Poyo. Let's gather around. Oh, pillar. I have a great fucking idea. I'm just going to go around it and try to memorize it, because later on I could just encode thoughts and have photographic memory of it. Sure. Oh, we had like a camera or something. If only had fucking the cameras. What the hell is a camera? No. Oh. I just invented it. Bless you. Oh, I just, I just invented it. <laughs> I just invented um, sneezing. Uh, go ahead and roll an intelligence check, sure, to see how much you can memorize. I mean, I just don't want to memorize, like, what it looks like. Yeah, well, to see how much detail you can memorize. Uh, that is going to be intelligence plus four. That's going to be 16. Alright, you memorize 16% of it. Goddamn. Um... Uh, I'm also going to use my meta magic since that doesn't fucking matter. Uh, quicken my spell. Ooh, wrong way. There we go. Quicken the spell. Um, of truth strike. And put it on the pillar. Interesting. Um, the pillar is. Immune to all damage. Uh, immune to all status effects. And can be considered to have 50 hit points. I believe that's all the information that uh, True Strike gives you. Yeah, uh, resistances, immunities, vulnerabilities... Um, condition immunities, current and max hit points. Yeah. And my next attack against it, um, within the duration of the spell, which is up to one round, um... Has advantage. Uh, has advantage. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, so you, um kind of place your hand on it. It is immune to all damage. It's immune to all status effects. 50 out of 50 hit points. Um, although it doesn't really matter how many hit points it has because it can't lose hit points, really. Uh, it, as an object, doesn't really, doesn't really have hit points. It is a indestructible object based on the information that spell can give you. So I have a question. I have an answer. With True Strike, because like it tells you like all the combat stuff, theoretically, would it give me any sort of hint of like, since it can't be destroyed physically, could it be like 
unplugged, so to say. Like, destroying the crystals will unplug it. Will it give me any hints in that direction? Um... Sure. I'll say... <clears throat> with True Strike, it kind of gives you a glean into, like, a little bit of how this system works. The four crystals are not only, like, uh, outlets of the magical energy that does ma the main purifying... They serve as the main batteries here, and that's why they are part of what is reset. Is they are, uh, it's using the magical energy almost to reset the magical energy, as well as to reset the with time. Um, and that's why the system can theoretically keep running forever, is because by its nature it's cre it creates its own energy. Uh, but they serve as the batteries for this, so if they were removed or destroyed, uh, all four of them would need to be removed or destroyed then and only then would the loop stop happening uh very okay. quickly after that uh you sense that the this pocket dimension that you're in would collapse on itself and spit everything out into the courtyard that Jin reported seeing okay so we won't get crushed uh probably not no okay neat um I think that's all for my turn, then. Yeah. Um, Jin, uh, Poyo, Ruben, you guys both acted. Jin, I think you're the only person who hasn't acted yet. Okay. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm gonna waddle through the portal. <laughs> you have to have You see the molten west time kind of pouring out onto the anvil here. You remember, this is exactly what you saw right before the beam that froze you hit. Oh, wait. I'm too early. <laughs> I go back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Next round. <laughs> Man, yeah, you want to know something really funny? You're standing almost, in the line of sight. It oh, almost <laughs> happened again. <laughs> so is that the end of the turn? Yeah. End of the round? Alright. Yeah. Moving on to round seven, uh, Crystal One up here fires off that same freezing beam that you almost got hit by, <laughs> uh, and transforms the Wistine here into, once again, six ingots. All right, now I'm going to pick them up. I'm gonna go over there and try to pick him up. You reach down and pick up two and slide them into your pockets. That'll be your action. Yeah. Um, you can move again if you'd like. As you guys reach. can see, uh, Crystal Two and Crystal Three are currently charging up. Uh, I'll... I'll go back to the portal. Whoosh. Whoosh. Straight back. Uh, Ruben, Poyo, Eterna. Shalex is still, like, holding their bow, like, pointed at Crystal 3, like, Do I do it? I'm just going to keep memorizing the, uh, the things. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, roll another intelligence check. This time at disadvantage. Ah, disadvantage. I just rolled a nat 20, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, that time it's going to be a 15. Okay. You memorize another 7%. 7%? Yeah. Ruben, okay, Poyo. I will use another rage. Okay, go ahead and roll again. Three! The pixie bombs! Mm hmm. Jin, you I remember point... those pixie bombs, don't you? I sure do. I point at number two. Okay. 
at the end of the current round, it'll explode. Koyo? If you'd like to continue trying to figure out this crystal out, you can give me another Arcana check. Just trying to look at the list of weapons I have. Yeah, I guess I just do that Arcana check. Go ahead and roll. Six. Sixteen. Um, you've already established that it's not vulnerable to like non-magical weapons. It's probably not vulnerable to magical weapons either. It doesn't seem to be. Um, you notice that some of the runes around the base seem to have been erased magically. Um, like, with some form of spell that removes magic. Um, you get the sense that that might be its vulnerability. Okay. Not necessarily a damaging spell, but like... You know. So that's your action. Uh, Etern is still memorizing. Uh, Shalix is still, like, holding onto their bow, like, aiming at three. Um, they didn't get any response. They're gonna go ahead and fire. Yeah. Well, it's not gonna do anything. Maybe. Two. Yeah, that one needed bludgeoning, didn't it? On a natural 20... The non-magical bow and arrow uh, fires off. The arrow chink, lodges into the crystal that then just... Yeah, just... Not magical. Not magical. kind of turns around. I did it! And then just... I, I wait. Wait, didn't we say not to do it? Oh, wait, shit. Didn't we Boosh. specifically say not to? Um, and Shalix just kind of like tries to jump over here. Ah, uh, avoiding the question by running away. <laughs> and failing. Oh, yeah, that, that's enough to only take a little bit of fall damage. Perfect. Only a little bit. Cool. End of the round, or does anyone else have anything to do? End of the round. Hello. Um, this crystal here uh, that had been charging up whoosh, fires off, and the ingots that are left on the anvil, the four ingots that were left, uh, are kind of lifted up and whoosh, teleported away. Um, and while this crystal had been charging up, there's like a weak pulse along the runes around its base, but there's no energy to really back it up. And you see kind of like small arcane sparks kind of traveling along the chains connected to it. All right. Uh, I, still have, I still have my two though, right? Yes, you still have your two. Okay. From everyone's memory, that's the last crystal activation before the pillar activates and resets. Okay, so hypothetically, okay... If we take the uh, the Wistine ingots from here and shove them outside 
into the palace, <laughs> into the palace like yard. Would they? They wouldn't come back here, would they? Like it wouldn't reset. Wait, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. Is a uh, bag of holding? Would its contents be reset whenever technically it's its own little baby pocket dimension? You can certainly try. Oh, uh, I jump. To a turn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Roll an athletics check. That's one hell of a jump. Oh, I got it. See, I got it. <laughs> like a fucking lightning bolt. Jin clears the distance in no time at all. Like, put this in your bag. <laughs> I just got my bag of holding. Because <laughs> theoretically, it, it, it shouldn't reset my bag content because baby dimension. We're going to find out. <laughs> Alright, while that's happening, Ruben, Poyo. Oh, I'm just gonna keep memorizing the things. I'm just trying to, like, do this as, like, bonus action question mark. Yeah, hey, that's fair. Um, you continue yeah, you working on memorization. You have any ideas um, what to do with this? Dirty 20. Okay. Not a clue. How many Brave. percentage? How much for Dirty 20? Uh, sure, you get two more percent. Two for a Dirty 20? The amount that you're able to memorize is decreasing the more times you roll this. Alright. Yeah, like I said before, uh, Poyo, based on your uh, 16 Arcana, any sort of spell that could, like, remove magic uh, might would work. Yeah. Or, like I said earlier, you could, theoretically, uh, if you're able to bend the casing, you could just pull the crystal out of its casing and disconnect it. Can I put my battle axe in the like, can I find, like, a spot in the casing to put my battle axe and try and start bending it out? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll an athletics check for me. Can I give him advantage by helping with one of my, uh... Yeah. Use it one of my you, like, yeah. You can absolutely give him advantage. Go ahead and roll with advantage. <laughs> 26. Just hits the DC 25. You manage to wedge your battle axe in and dunk, and the crystal goes spinning off through the space. And the rooms around you stop glowing. That do good. just above the DC, so... Yeah. No, that was a yeah. success. No, that was in character to Poyo. Oh, oh, sorry. I take the crystal out. Well, no, the, the, the oh. big-ass crystal is currently, like, floating off into space. It, like, oh. flung off. I just do that thing where you, like, you know how it, like, uh... It's, it's like, you go, it's going, it's going, it's going. 
I just keep doing that and looking up. Give, I, I look at Ruben, give him a thumbs up. Nice. Oh, yo, a high five. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyone else doing anything? I'll say for the remainder of the time until the pillar resets. Memorizing the damn rooms. Well, yeah. And then right before it resets, I want to put like my journal and everything into my bag of holding. Okay. Uh, Jin, any other things that you're going to try to accomplish uh, before it resets? Uh, not really. Okay. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and leave the session there. It is about time. You guys seem like you're struggling to pay attention a little bit. Excuse me. A little, har a little harsh. <laughs> Well, I'm also, like, my attention is also <laughs> starting to run out. Um, We're also gonna have to explain this to Silver and shit. Don't worry, yeah. during this time, I already figured out a new character. <laughs> <laughs> and Tyler, you never answered on which one I should do. Because I, I, was, I was waiting until we, if you were actually would survive or not. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, we still couldn't. Because we still don't know how to get out of here. Now you do. You oh, I know how to get the fucking you. triangle. Yeah. But I don't think I want to go into the palace grounds of this motherfucker. Well, yeah, I think we're supposed to stay away that, from the we're genie. Tell them that we're, we're, like, you know, we're like tourists. Fucking, we're tourists, yeah. Yeah, we're tourists. We're tourists. Everyone's ever friendly with tourists. I'm a uh, shadow walker with the order, and these are my four experiments. Um. Listen, I don't know if I like being called an, an experiment. Let me, uh, flash my, uh, <coughs> holy symbol. <laughs> Tyler, it's a good thing you chose that one, because I, I was going to choose that one either way. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was a fun session. Yeah, it was. It was. I, I, I have no consequence. There are no consequences for actions, right, guys? Yeah, there's no consequence for just casually stabbing the dying party member. That's Technically, the that wasn't my fault. That was the dice's fault. It was 100% your fault. I had a potion of healing. I had a potion of vitality. It, I had four okay, healing potions. It was going too fast for me to comprehend what was going on, and my little pea brain monkey brain. <laughs> I, I, it's not like I have anything else. But did you do the surgery on a grape? Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time. The session's over. We're we're.